This is the Flint City Council meeting brought to you by the Flint City Council and presented by Spectacle Productions. Don't just watch TV, make it. And underwritten in part by the Flint Pipe Fitters Union. Looking for pipe fitters apprentices throughout Flint. Everything you started. We already accepted the invitation. They, you need <laughs> we did. Well, I want to set a time. Is six all right? Well, we need to make sure that we put the posting up there. The, the well, one? Yeah, that's right. Okay. No, you don't have one. So, um, so we are bringing um, special affairs to order. Uh, roll call, please. <laughs> Mr. Mays? Forever. Mr. Davis? Mr. Davis? Here. <laughs> Sorry. Mr. Guerra? Present. Ms. Fields? Present. Ms. Wayne Carter? Present. Mr. Winfrey? Present. Ms. Galloway? Present. Mr. Griggs? Present. Ms. Worthing? Present. Well, he's the member of the for the Okay, perfect. Okay. So, um, oh, thank you. 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 Okay. So, um, oh, <laughs> moved and moved. Okay. Second it. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of moving this to council say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Any abstentions? We move to council. The next one. Um, did you have that. something that you want to say to me? I have an amendment for the next one. Okay. Um, this charitable gaming license, the resolution read to say that the council approves it, but technically the council can't approve the license. You just have to recognize it as a charity operating in the city of Flint. So we had to change the language a little bit just to take out the language saying that you guys approved this gaming license. Madam Chair. This is a point Councilman Mays. Yeah, I would move. Um, one eight zero zero six three um two of one eight zero zero six three point one so you're making an amendment to amend one eight zero zero six three to one eight zero zero six three point one and uh one eight zero zero six three point one has been passed out by the vena with the correction that's described the, amu the amendment has been <coughs> made, Councilman Guerra. I second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Uh, well, it says this is a different number for the resolution. I mean, is, that, is that acceptable? Yes, that, okay? um, that number that's on there, that's uh -huh. uh, the administration number. We usually write our number uh, over. Oh, okay. I got so you. I just I haven't written the number on there yet. All right, got gotcha. you. Yeah, Madam Chair. Councilman May. Now, Davina, you say that um, the original language was approving it, but the amended language is just what? Um, because it, technically you guys can't approve the license, the state does. So show me where the um, language is on the amended. Um, so know? on the original, it says... It says it is resolved that a charitable gaming license is granted to Marines taking care of kids for a raffle. That's what the original says. The change it says it is resolved that Marines taking care of kids is recognized as a nonprofit operating in the city of Flint. That's your role as the council. You can't approve the raffle or the license for the raffle. 
you have to recognize that charity as operating in the city so that the state can then approve it. Mm -hmm. And so when we do recognize them as a nonprofit organization, somebody has did the due diligence and check that out and that type of thing. Right, the state does that, but then you guys have to do so, a resolution approving them. So the state has done their due diligence prior to coming to us, is what you, <coughs> you understand? That's my understanding, yes. Thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of amending 180063 to 180063.1 say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? It is amended. Madam Chair. Councilman Mays. I would move 180063.1 the council. It's, it's been moved. Is there a second, Ms. Worthy? Ms. Worthy supports that. Um, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of moving 180063.1 to council say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Any abstentions? Hearing none, it moves to council. Madam Chair. Councilman Mays. <coughs> I would move 180060 for the Amended Professional Service Agreement Chief Public Health Advisor Pamela L. Q. to Council. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. Uh, it's, it's, it's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion, Ms. Bill? Um, I'd just like to point out here and um, understand clearly I do not begrudge anyone. Uh, being able to get retirement benefits, whether it's a PSA or a regular city employee or city council. So I just want to remind Mr. Newsom mm -hmm. that uh, this is something that he was going to look into for mm -hmm. city council. Um, some of the older members won't make that much difference, but if the younger members uh, continue on in this type of uh, job, um, you might later really appreciate having retirement benefits. So. This is something that the EFM took away from us, and as we try to restructure our city back to normal city government, um, I think this is an important thing, and especially since in this case, uh, I believe uh, these retirement benefits are going to be paid by the Ford Foundation. So it's a win-win for us and for Ms. Pugh. Madam Chair. Yeah, Madam Chair. Through you to whoever in administration, this this was a public service, uh, a professional service agreement that at first did not include certain um, benefits or fringes, and the amendment is just to include benefits and or some type of fringes um, in the amount retirement benefits in the amount of ten thousand dollars is anybody who can explain what that is and what this amendment is yeah um and it might and, and before you start it might be in the packet i just haven't read it so i'm doing the lazy man's approach give me the what's that well uh, as you stated last year when we did the psa for dr Pugh, these uh benefits and retirement was included in the grant from ford but it was omitted from her PSA. We are now going in arrears to pick that back up. Could I ask how long is this uh, grant for? I believe the grant for the Ford Foundation was for three years. And we in what year? We just finished year one. So it would be two more years? That's correct. And I would guess that the amended professional service agreement would pretty much the last right. two years would encompass that. It would encompass that. What we're doing now is we're, we're retrofitting uh, and correcting the mistake that was made last year. And so if it's, is this retirement benefit? It is for her retirement. And so if it doesn't go past two years, she if she got my age, 59 or right. 60 or whatever, and she had no other work, this would just handle what? Well, she we had to invest know. this money into her 401k or, or? That type of retirement. That's correct. I'm going to support it, so I just wanted to hear a little bit about it. I, I, I figured I'd support it from the beginning, and now I have no further questions. I have a question for you, Tom. 
Mr. Branch. Mr. Branch, the document that's provided in our packet, um, what is the date of this document? It doesn't have a date on it that shows the terms. And, Point and of information. Do you see on page That's not, one? I, I will bring that up. I'm, to I'm asking. Yes. Do you see yes. that as a as a um, from September 30th to February 28th? I do, Councilman Mays. Um, but that's not the one that I was speaking of. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because the resolution before us says beginning October 1st, 2016. The term on this document says 2017 September. So I'm trying to understand why this document doesn't mirror this document for my own record. Thank you, Councilman Mays. Mr. Branch. Well, he's looking if I may, Madam Chair. Councilman Mays, I, 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 I'd like to maintain the floor for myself. I will give you an opportunity after Ms. Fields, if you don't mind. Uh, again, could you repeat the question? Well, on the document- Point of information. Is it possible that October 1st, 2016 could be the date of the grant and the terms of this is September 30th? Councilman Mays, it might be if we'd allow the administrator to answer a question that's not provided for us today. But it's proper to do a point of information, correct? It is. So why give but I don't think you have one. Thank you. Mr. Brand. Point of order. Point of order. Councilman Mays, no. Point of order. Councilman Mays, what is your point of order? Uh, it's proper to do a point of information. You're right. And I did have one. You didn't. To me. Well, you ruled and it was improper. I'll appeal your it ruling was, on my point of information. I'm not going to start with you Thank this you, early. Mays. You say I didn't point have, if you ruled and I didn't have a point of information. No, I'm saying. Oh, okay. Then let's move on Thank without you. the editorial. Okay. Um, the original PSA was issued October 1st, 2016. September 30, 2017. This amendment picks up uh, September 30, February 28, two, uh, September 30, 2017 through February 28, 2018. Okay. So, and and if I could just make a, I'm gonna I'm gonna support. I think that Miss Pugh is doing a, a great job, and and if. If the foundation is providing for that, I just wanted to have the documentation. So I'd like to do a referral just to have a copy of the original one. The so original that the the original t the document that you're saying. The original PSA. Yes, sir. Um, and so you already have it. It would be with the original resolution. I guess. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. I just want to make sure that the doc. You no, know, I'm going to support it. She's doing a great work, and we appreciate them funding her. And, and keeping as long as we could. Ms. Fields, you had something? Yes, uh, I know Mr. Newsom hasn't been here that long, so he's probably not aware, but um, we have quite a few uh, PSAs at any one time in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, do you happen to know, is there anyone else that has a PSA that has these retirement benefits? And I understand that the Ford Foundation is paying for this, right. so it's a bit different. But are you aware of any other? Off the top of my head, I have to. I don't want to. I don't feel comfortable answering without doing some research, so I can look into that for you. Okay. Could I ask, please, for a referral? Uh, I would like just a simple spreadsheet of who has it. What, how many PSAs we have currently? Mm -hmm. Um, and who they're for and for what. Sure. You got that, Davina? Thank you. Councilman Mays, did you want to still be after Ms. Field or was there any other discussion? Um, I'll say this, uh, Madam Chair. If my points of information or something can point somehow, it is a point of information. I don't like to come into a meeting acting in good faith and then get pissed off early on with editorials and comments from the chair. A point of information is always in order. It was a question, an inquiry, did you see the dates? And so I'm about taking care of business, not politics. But if you want to politic, I'm all up for it. So I would ask that this meeting continue to conduct a certain way. I'm not going to be up for it today. And so um, I'm just going to say that and move on. And Councilman Mays, I would like to say respectfully, I respect that. 
But what I'm asking is, if I'm asking the administration a question and I pointed out what you said to be different from the resolution in front of us, I would ask that you would respect that and allow me to have my question answered by the administrator who should be able to answer. That's all I'm saying. Madam. And so I'm, I don't have any problems. I'm just asking that I can get it answered by the person I'm asking. Madam Chair, if I may, this is my position. We are a team. We are. And if I can see something and the administration confirm it, fine. If it's a question, it's a question. Whether it can be answered by a colleague, the administration, a combination of both. I ain't into that about the administration, the administration. I'm into the teamwork thing. So that's where I take offense at. I have said for many a years here, and even under the old council, I heard <laughs> you say, I was directed that toward Mr. Kincaid. He's the senior council person. I've heard that. So all I'm saying to you is whether it's the administration or a council person, the president, finance chair, whatever, we are a team. And anybody who can help me, help them, help you, that's what it's about. So it ain't nothing um, unusual to try to help each other. And I want to leave it at that. Unless you got something else to say, I'll receive it. But that's my position. We are a team. Questions can be answered from anybody at any time and then confirmed. That's all I'm about. Time, speed, and take care of business. Is there any discussion, further discussion on this resolution? Carrying none, all in favor of moving this to council say aye. 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 Those opposed? Any abstention? This resolution moves to council. Appointments? Madam oh, Chair. Councilman Mays. Did you um, have I would yield to the B. I believe the administration has several add-ons. Oh, yeah. oh, well, oh, oh, you want to do the, do the, the resolutions? Room? I'd like to keep them with the resolutions. That's fine. Okay. Um, okay, um, first of all, I do have three add-ons. I'm going to pass them out. Oh, I would like to make an announcement. Uh, this Friday, our HR director, Charlie McClinney, for the last day, I asked oh. for him to come up. He has decided to retire and move on. In the second retirement, so I just want to make sure that this council <laughs> was aware that this uh, Friday, March the second, is Charlie's last day. At the end of the business day. <laughs> I've, I've enjoyed working here. Uh, I know many of you, and I you know it ups and downs, but I've enjoyed working, especially for this day. Beautiful lady. Congratulations. Yeah. Good. Congratulations is right. And also Friday there will be, um, we're going to have like a little reception uh, for people to come by and say goodbye and have some refreshments. So that will be going on Friday as well, I believe, in your conference room. I guess so. Oh, yes. Madam so everybody's Chair. invited. Madam Chair, were you coming? Madam Mayor, were you done? 11.30 Okay, we were trying to get the time okay. confirmed. So 11, we believe it's 11.30 to 1. So please, you know, if you have the opportunity to come by and, and say goodbye, uh, we would love that. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Councilman Yeah, Madam Chair, through you to the mayor and administration, if he's leaving when? Friday? Yes. Who will serve in that position? Do you have an interim? What are we looking at? I've got some issues and some questions that I was trying to bring forward. I know they had just hired somebody down there. They had, I don't know how many applications. They interviewed the top five. And I got some inquiry about that. So who will be the contact person for that department after when? Friday? Do we know? As yeah. a contact. The contact person will be uh, McKenna Jackson. She's What's related. her name? McKenna Jackson. McKinney. And who is the person who just got hired down McKinney there? McKinney Jackson. McKin so that's the new person will be? That's the contact person. That's the contact right. person. So that's really who will be acting in that position. What's her name? And I mean for that department. What's her name? McKinney. M-A-G-I-N-I. Jackson. McKinney Jackson. Yeah. yeah, I want to meet that person, particularly if that person is okay. going to be um, acting. So maybe I'll get a chance to do that between now and Friday. Uh, Mr. McClendon, can we 
Should be a word. Should, should be a word. Just come down. Okay, just come down and ask the meeting. Okay, what is her time? call. Make sure she's there instead of, you know, out and about. Well, whatever. What is her title? She's the, at this point, she's the labor relations manager. Labor relations manager. Manager. Correct. Labor relations. Okay, and I bring that up because um, I'll do it later under discussion, uh, but you had allowed that to happen if we dealt with resolutions, Madam Chair. Um, I've had some discussion about these interim positions, and um, as we enter into the month of March under this new charter, I just want to make sure labor relations, the mayor's office and everybody understand this new charter language is a slippery slope. I'm not down with it all, but we still better talk about it. So maybe under um, the discussion at the end of the appointment, we can bring that up. So I like that brought up while we got certain folks here. Yes. Uh, while we're on this topic, Mr. Branch, could you tell me um, what is um, Tia Lewis? What is her title? Uh, Tia, Tia is title is Senior Generalist. Okay. HR, HR Senior Generalist. Okay, I'm just kind of surprised to hear because Tia's been here for a long time and she has her PhD in, uh, you know, HR. So I'm just curious, why isn't she the acting or interim or something? Point of order. Nobody's acting. No. Point of order. Nobody's acting. Nobody's been point of order. Interim. We said she would be the contact. Point of order. Can we get to this under discussion and move forward with the resolution? Councilman Mays, I think it's appropriate based on what we're talking about. So if, if Ms. Fields, if your answer is completed. Well, you I'll, you I'll be complete. asking more questions, but. Okay. As long as she isn't acting or interim at this point in time, because I do believe Ms. Lewis is very well qualified. So, Madam Chair. Mr. Well, wait a minute, Mr. Branch. Uh, I want to apologize. You started when you told, said that um, he was um, retiring, and then you didn't get to add your resolution. So, do you want to add your well, resolution? Well, we're, we're ready to start. I think uh, the CFO. Madam Chair. Councilman okay. Mayor. Since you opened that door and you say it's appropriate, then let's continue discussion. If you said it was appropriate for Miss Fields, I put it at discussion, so let's continue. No, oh, now Mays, the rules change Council, again? they don't. Well, they Council do, Mays, and they did. You're not going to make a spectacle. You oh, asked a question make, about who I'll make whatever I need to make for oh, fair God. treatment. You come on and pay attention. Let us move on with resolution. Clearly. That's my name. Councilman Mates, I am the chair. I you thought her question that was about, and that's fine. I'm just telling you my ruling. The uh, reason why I thought that that was appropriate is because she had a simple question. That could be answered as simple as it did. It but you simple. continue to want to make everything bigger. I thought it was fair. It was appropriate. She ended it, and so now we're trying to move on. Madam Chair, we can have disagreements. We can. And they can be cordial and procedural. So I, I, have, I have a right to say what I said. Okay. Ms. Fields heard me say, let's talk about it under discussion. You allowed it. Council we on resolutions. Point of order. Let's get the resolutions and move on. Councilman Mays, just for you still going because I'm the chair and you stop talking. But for your point information, of, she had already asked to be recognized while you were talking, so you don't get to change. Point the fact of that order. She was on the list. Point of order. The chair don't give you that type of privilege to you change from the talking. agenda, ma'am. And you, the, the last word, the last word ain't gonna get it with Mr. me, Newton. cause you the check. Oh goodness, Point of order. Let's sound. get on with the resolution. It's about gravity. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I will. I submit this resolution. I guess it's walk on number one will be, and I think I'm hoping that everybody has a copy of it. I'm waiting for some additional copies that I did distribute these. Have these distributed in your mailboxes oh, before, before. Um, I think that that's what those are. It would be a type of resolution the city to receive water relief funding. Yes. Yeah, I got it. I, I got it in my box. I'll get it back. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry about that. I did see. We can. We can get you. I can get you a copy of it. However, the only thing is the packages have. 
um, person have uh, confidential information in terms of addresses and account balances. So we want to be careful. Madam okay. Chair. Yeah, if I look at this resolution through you, Madam Chair, to Mr. Newsom, the 246 or whatever the number was, the money we talked about in committee, the 186, the 10 units or more, right. I see that language in there. But what I got a question about the language that I read about the other ones and the million dollars that you're shooting for right. I guess we talked about the 400 and some thousand yeah that language mm -hmm. referring to that is that intended that as others come we'll do what is that, that I, is I'm the, reading that that is the intention if you read clause F proposed this first the policies eligibility criteria for recipients so when I say eligibility criteria we define collectively that administration as long as well as council We'll work to define, we'll propose you all will, will sign off on a way that we'll disperse the remainder of the funds. If council's pleasure is that all the remaining funds left be used <coughs> to um, address cor um, corrections of estimates, similar to what we were doing here with the first 200 and change, then that's fine. But just like we did before with the first round of funds, we'll come back with how we'll use the balance of the funds and hopefully additional funding through um, through some sort of an endowment. That's the game plan. But what, and the reason we stated what we stated in F, we need a little bit more time to procure extra money. Assuming we get that money, then there we have more options to an endowment. Madam Chair, if I may continue. Well, can, can I just ask this body if, um, if we can appropriately make a motion so that we can continue this discussion that's been requested, and so that way we'll be in a discussion and the motion has already been made. So Madam what is the council? Chair, yeah. I, I move that we move to council, add in, add on number one. Add on number one, correct. Okay. Let me add on number one. This add on has been moved to council. Is there a second? Ms. Warren. It has been moved and seconded. <coughs> Any discussion, Councilman Mays? Yeah, Madam Chair, my reason for discussing this prior to a motion was because this is a resolution that's detailed on something that we've been looking at, and I know some of it comes up in committee. I don't know how time sensitive it is, and, I, and once I get my questions answered, I'll see if I vote to move it to council or do it go back to committee. I appreciate it coming because we talked about it coming, right. but this is something that really um, I would have liked to see come in committee, but based upon what we're trying to do, I'm all for it and might support it um, as this being the final mm -hmm. draft, but if I may continue. Um, so you got the 20 CCFs for commercial. That's correct. And so that's something we had not discussed, discussed. but it's in here. And as you recall, and, and let me for the record state that I do apologize that this came in special that's affairs. Okay. But the reason that, you know, I felt comfortable doing that because we had already had a special meeting dedicated to discussing this. And, and we said move forward. forward. Yeah, let so me that. ask you this, Mr. Newsom, on the, um, on the, um, one that's dealing with the E, mm -hmm. you know, well, I don't know if it's E, but I'll put it uh, like this, C. Mm -hmm. C is the one that's dealing with holding them shut off in the bed. That's correct. We talked about so, that. Right. But if I may, mm -hmm. the, um, the new ordinance mm -hmm. that I'm proud of, we, um, <laughs> That could only go back in some cases six months. No more than six months. So, do you anticipate that the funds moving forward will fall up under that ordinance, and they might not be as high? I anticipate that that that's correct. I anticipate that going forward, we shouldn't have more than six months of correction. So, with that being said, I think that we, you know, uh, on top of the fact that we plan to create that that small endowment. I think that we should be able to stretch those dollars out, that million dollars out, and then propose something that would protect the plan so we only have to use returns on the plan, but at the same time, 
um, make sure that going forward we should have smaller corrections or smaller adjustments to bills and therefore um, we should be able to protect those residents as well. If that's council's pleasure, we'll formalize that for the remainder of the funds within the next six months. So would it be a fair statement to believe when Amanda and the Wildest Department do these, mm -hmm. they won't be going back three and four years? No, they can't. They can't, they can't. by ordinance. By ordinance, they cannot. But they was always arguing when I would sit in on those hearings that we couldn't get free water. We had to collect something. So that's going to be a year or two a bunch of non collection. So by ordinance, we've kind of covered that. We shouldn't have to worry about them in most cases. Mm -hmm. And of course, going I'm going to take them on the side, but the ordinance has been passed. And it's up to council if council sees there's any reason to um, change that ordinance. That would be up to council. But as of right now, the council. Um, you know, right now, council controls that. We, we can only go back six months. Madam Chair, I would ask, I'd like to make a referral that that copy of that ordinance be put in each council person's box. Mm -hmm. And I want discussion on that ordinance on the next legislative committee um, agenda. Because when we threw that ordinance together and passed it, um, some of us, it was worded where if it's the city's fault, you right. can't go back more than six, six months. months. And that's a tricky phrase. And I'll say we'll go for that, but we better look at that. So I want to look at that ordinance again. And if that referral is request for that ordinance to be put in each member's box and or on the next legislative committee agenda's honor, then um, for right now, um, I would yield the floor. Yes, and I'm sorry, Mr. Newsom, I know you've gone over this before, but... Point of order information, is that request and referral ordered without objection? Order without, I mean, it's, it's Ms. Worthing's um, um, meeting, but the referral, absolutely. Davina, you got it, though, didn't you? Right. Um, back billing ordinance? Did you talk about? No, the back copy billing. of the ordinance. Right. It's, it's the, the back, back billing ordinance. Yeah, right. yeah okay. when six months... Okay. And Madam Chair, before we I leave, can, through you to Ms. Worthen, do you have any objections or is that okay on your agenda? Thank you. Okay. Before I ask my question, I want to remind Council again, okay, and we are going to have another session on it, that we operate under our rules, our rules take precedence, and then when it's not covered by our rules, it's covered by Robert's rule of order. The correct way to do a point of information now is the chair must ask the person who's speaking if they will yield, will they choose to be interrupted? And they do have the option of saying no. Okay, so now, Mr. Newsom. Yes, sir. Um, when we're talking, I just want to separate out in my mind the amount of money the city has versus Lewa's own program for low income assistance. That's right. So okay. this RAP money, okay, uh, that's Lewa's program, right? That's that right. acronym is for their program. That's correct. Okay, so the to total amount of money you're talking about here is $750,000, right? Mm -hmm. Of that, RAP could provide an estimated 117000 right? Now, is that do they provide that per year or one time? That's the estimated total amount. That they will be, that will be, it's roughly um, 20000 a year for however many years that is. And then it, it, it gets re um, allocated and processed. So we have a 30 year contract. So you're saying this 117 is. It's not going to last very long. That's the total for the total the of the contract. Okay, so it's not like we get 117 a year. That's it. That's okay. Okay, so then this 633,000, where is this money coming from? That's coming from the state. Well, 633 from the state. So just a little, just a little, little bit of background. Remember. The original resolution that was passed November 21st um, was, it showed 750000 What had been negotiated by administration and by council, by council, 
was that we needed more money in addition to the Google Rap program, right? So the state um, volunteered, let's say, to provide the balance of whatever funds necessary to get us to three quarters of a million dollars, which is a seven fifty. So since then, we need we the Google Rap program is well defined how it's supposed to be administered. However, we have to agree on how we're going to use the balance of the funds, which is six hundred thirty-three thousand dollars. So, um, starting last month, we have proposed a framework, and council asked us to reconsider that. And we had um, we brought it back again in committee, and then had a special meeting to work out the details, where this framework was more or less agreed upon. And that last meeting was February thirteenth. That was a special. Meeting. Okay, were the criteria uh -huh. okay and the amounts of money each individual let's say Ms. Worthing okay wanted to apply to the program had we decided on the criteria Ms. Worthing would have to uh, Verbal, meet verbally only verbally only we had not put it on paper yet so what we did on the 13th I provided an outline of potential criteria along with the spreadsheet for 627 people that have seen an adjustment of at least one unit. Okay, but at this point in time, council has not agreed or approved one of the three options that, that is, you proposed. That is correct. So what happened on the 13th, I felt that we, we adjourned with a consensus, at least I thought it was a consensus, where we agreed that we were going to help use the initial funding, $172,000 is what this resolution shows, to help those that have seen an adjustment of at least um, 10 units immediately. So that was going to be done as soon as possible, as soon as the money can, we can get the money from the state. Because the state is waiting for us to define um, how to formalize how we want to use it so they can create the grant. So we walked away with it. what I thought was a consensus in terms of a framework that we can put into writing, formalized in writing. And that's what this resolution is. Right. Okay, so the taking us along here okay yes. so what you're asking us really to approve today is not the uh, individual criteria yet okay option ABC but it's the fact that we are going to take this funding and put it into an investment so let's let's so what I'm asking you to look at for the first hundred and seventy thousand I'm asking you to, to approve the way we have what was worded in exhibit um, one which was this person. Those people, whatever's laid out in terms of their um, corrections. Mm -hmm. So that, if you looked at that spreadsheet, I did put page numbers on this time. Thank you. Um, but if you look at exhibit one, and you look at those that um, have seen, you see that relief column? Yeah. Residences. So what the initial allotment of money would be to give those people relief. That's what, again, I felt the consensus was, I understood the consensus to be when we had our special meeting on the 13th. And right. that sum total here is on page, uh, the back page of two, 172,872. Right. So we right. take 172,000 away from the 633. Okay. Credit those accounts as soon as possible. And use the balance of the money to create the fund. The investment so, endowment. Fund. That's correct. So okay. if you see letters D, solicit additional funds to add to the 460,000 you get to the million. So our goal is to at least get that much. And I need to be careful what I say on camera, but we're going to go for much more than that. We're going to at least want to get to a million dollars. I feel comfortable that's the base level that we want to we want to create that. Okay, but going forward, moving forward, okay, we will still have to adopt some type of criteria, criteria for use of this endowment. Which is laid out in the letter F. Right, so if you read D, D, E, and F, that's what we're talking about on the resolution. I'm sorry. Oh. On the resolution. So oh, that's you. what you're looking for. So these are the terms that we're talking about. So basically 172 up front, right? And then the balance. When we when we're saying a million dollars, so use mm -hmm. the balance to, to supplement to supplement be supplemented so you can create a, a fund and then find the criteria for that fund to help within six months. So we're asking for is a little bit more time to define how we're going to disperse the rest of the money, but let's go ahead and get the initial 170000 out now for feedback from the Okay, so two more quick questions. Sure. So uh, by creating this endowment fund, we're making whatever the balance of the 633 is going to be. Right. How much, let's say approximately within a year, how much more money will we have 
put into the endowment fund because we're doing it this way as an investment. So my goal is we start off with the 460 that's left over, right? And you bring in another 550, 540 that's the million, right? So that's the target. And then after that, if you remember the numbers that we put in the PowerPoint presentation. About if you get about a four percent return, you're gonna be you're gonna be right at thirty four thousand a year. So it's not a lot, but it's something that could last in perpetuity. The more we get, obviously, assuming that we get that four percent investment um, in return investment, which I think is achievable, then obviously we can get more money. So it's somewhere between thirty and forty thousand a year going forward. Right? But remember that you know. Right now, we have this water, these adjustments from the water over, so we're, we don't expect to have as much in terms of the rear relief need going forward, right? Because as we're correcting, as we're changing water meter through the water meter program, you'll see a huge, you see a, a huge spike in the number of these adjustments. But going forward after that, it should be fine. So the first two or three years, we'll have to figure out. We have to I don't know what the numbers look like. But the first two or three years, assuming that there is a water meter replacement program, you will see an uptick in the number of uh, corrections, but then it'll sell down. Well, we hope so. We choose the right water meters. And That's correct. Whatever. And while I'm thinking about it, I like to make the referral, a quick referral. Um, the city of Flint, we had uh, agreed to have a new water leakage study. And uh, that should have been completed by now, Mr. Benzik. Point of order, Madam Chair. Okay. <coughs> Under the rules, Miss Field said, "Thank she knows her well." Five minutes is up. That was an amazing. Yeah. Thing. You were way over five minutes, and I did not bother With you. With no motion on the floor. Councilman Mays. Yeah, but that was your So, I just say plan. you going to let her keep going. Come on, going. Councilman Mays. I am but coming out. Uh, the last thing I want to say is Shoot. thank you for a copy of the uh, investment policy for all the new council people. I keep asking. Yes. I think we need to put together a binder of all the City of Flint policies, and this is an example. Did you even know we had a formal investment policy? <coughs> So, thank you, Mr. Newsom. Thank you. Madam Chair. No, um, Councilman Mays, if you don't mind, I'm on my own list. I'll put you down after me. Um, um, Councilman, uh, I'm sorry. Benzik. No, 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 no. no. Okay. It's my turn. First I'm going to chair the meeting. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Newsom, um, I just want to say for the record, I am not in agreement mm -hmm. with dispersing these funds this way okay. and I'm going to tell you why mm -hmm. I feel uncomfortable that one resident mm -hmm. would be given relief for $25,000 okay. without knowing who they are what the circumstances are it seems irresponsible when we're looking at a community of people that struggle with their water bills mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. that have children and babies that have to go over to DHS, mm -hmm. have to go and exhaust every resource available for them mm -hmm. to help them with water bills. And we have seniors that have to choose between water and medicine. And so I look at this list and the first three people on the list, one is 25,000, 25,000 for a residential person. I need more information on that. You know what I'm saying? $25,000 is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And so the next person is, 15,000 mm -hmm. and if I'm not mistaken these are residential properties these are all correct? residential properties I, and I'm just sorry mm -hmm. Councilwoman Galloway I believe in what we're trying to do but it would be inappropriate for us to disperse that much money to one re residential person without knowing the circumstances I realize and these addresses point of information you realize the money don't go to one residential person it ain't going to no person Councilman Mays that's what you said. I said exactly what I said. I think it's inappropriate for 25000 to be, to be given first. to one person on this list, and I mentioned the first five. So maybe you should pay attention I instead did. of going out of your way to interrupt somebody. The first five people on this list, one person is going to get $24,286.50. The second person will get $14,878.50. That's a lot of money for one person living in a residential home and have a water bill of $25,000. And so all I'm saying is, I don't, I don't know how my colleagues are gonna vote, but that's irresponsible. Okay. Without so, no, and I know that these are confidential things, and I don't know how we can get more information. But to just say everybody on this list, and I and I see that it's you know peddling a little bit here for other people. 
Um, but that's a lot of money. Even on page, um, I'm looking at your page. Question. Yes, I don't want to interrupt you, but I'm pretty sure that this is not because they didn't pay their water Thank bills. You. It's only because of an actual to an adjusted meter read. So I'm estimated. I'm, that? I'm clear, Huey. Treat me like you treat me. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Huey, I'm clear mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. And so, but we don't, because we were looking, we, the, the, and the sad thing about it is, you, we can say what we want to say, but before the, the um, person in Councilman Mays' ward that came out with the 10,000, nobody, we ain't seen nothing on the news for 25,000. I know that those are the case, but I'm still saying that before we make decisions like this, this is a lot of money for one person. How long is this? We talked about making that ordinance, and I get it. Don't get me wrong, but this is a lot of money to take out of a chunk of money for a city that's trying to sustain. It would be nice to be able to put it in an investment that's as, as low risk as we can and be able to help this spread. But I'm just saying, it's 25000 for one person, 14000 for one person. And I sympathize with them, but there are a lot of people that have scratched and begged and borrowed to pay their water bill, even if their meter was broken. And so all I'm saying is, if those people knew on camera that we were looking at a program like this, would more of them come forward? But we're making a decision already without them even knowing. And I'm not trying to start a windfall, but I'm saying in government, we have to be transparent. We have to let everybody know that this is a concern and everybody know that if you paid your water bill, even though you really couldn't. And so that's all I'm saying. And I'm one council person, and I have a right to say what I'm saying. And I understand and I appreciate Ms. Worthy's point of information. I got that. I understood all of that. But that's still a lot of money. And we, to this point, I had never heard of one of our residents having a $25,000. It would have been in your, it would have been part of the data that was provided. Right. I know that. One. Right. So you should have seen I do, it I did order, see that. Right. This order. Right. But it would have been. But the remember, the one that you gave us also included. Commercial. Yes. And in so that document, right, but let me just say this, Huey, mm -hmm. in that document, it was hard to assimilate which one was commercial and which one was resident. And I know you came up with a new one, but now today, and I think it goes to what Councilman Mays, today I didn't expect to come with a resolution for $172,000 that I was going to say yes to to pay for it, Huey. You know what I mean? And so, but I'm only one of nine. I'm just making my point and I'm fine, so please. I'm done. My time if, if is yielded. If, if, if I may. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. So again, the administration thought this was a compromise Correct. because our original proposal had said that we would match up to a certain point. Correct. And we were told, remember there was a, a special meeting and a consensus I that I thought we walked away with. And if there wasn't a consensus, then somehow these points that maybe they weren't clear to me. Maybe there's a, maybe I'm just happy to hear it. So with that understanding, I leave it to the council, but Correct. for the record, we have Please. advised multiple proposals. Right. And at this point, you know, here we are, it's March. Correct. And we need to define this. Correct. What I feel comfortable with versus what's in front what's in front of you is a compromise. Correct. So if council's pleasure is to not disperse the funds at BSNA, that's what you see in front of you is a reflection of our billing system. Correct. We can provide you more investigation into the higher into the ones that have the higher balances. We're happy to do that via referral or just send me an email. That's fine. But I do, will reiterate this. This is the third meeting. In our first meeting, the administration did come forward with um, a matching proposal which limited the amount of relief we provide per resident. So I want to just make sure that's clear for the record. Again, I leave it to council. The administration felt this was a was a compromise um, in order so that we can get the funds moving. So I will leave it at that. Okay. Uh, did anyone else have anything, Councilman? Yeah, Madam Chair. First of all, let's do some catch up. Our council rules 26.1 to 26.4, Miss Fields. Don't say nothing about you have to yield the floor in order to do a point of information. Here they are. I'll keep them with me. Y'all can pass them around and look. So quit telling people that. For the last month, you've been telling people on this council a point of information requires a yielding of the floor. It don't. I never have known it to do that. And so there is wrote out. So quit giving fake news or fake rules. I, I'm tired of it. It's just causing chaos. 
and I, Madam Chair, you or no other chair should buy into that. Secondly, we went over this in committee. And I see the third one. The third one is in my ward, Miss Johnson. I made this up based upon her. It dropped from 10000 to 6000 with a credit. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've been talking about, <clears throat> doing the grand deal to stay with Great Lakes for the next 30 years. Five council people voted in favor. You and three more did not. The vote was five to four. This was put in during the grand deal and we're proud of it. And I don't want nobody watching this to think a resident is fitting to get a check for $25,000. They're not going to get no check. It's not going to get it. I don't like that characterization. This money is used to wipe out some of the highest bills in the city because meters had been broke. The batteries had a 10-year lifespan and you couldn't read them. So they estimated them, they underestimated them, and three years later, people got bills for 6000 25000 And I said I'd be doggone if I have to sit here on a council with finance authority, rule-making authority, and have people paying six, ten, or $25,000 bills. So you cannot support it, but I'm going to support it. And the details of this, Mr. Newsom, you've done a fine job based on what we talked about in committee and it's here before us. And this language needs to be tested to see if they will release the funds. So Ms. Johnson, to all of the residents of Flint, see how I'm doing it, Mr. President, I'm talking to the camera. You're not going to get no checks or no money. This is going to wipe out some of the highest bills in the city. Mayor Weaver, I'm proud of your administration and Mr. Newsom and the majority of the council who I hope continue to vote on this <laughs> resolution to wipe out the highest bills because you know as a council person making 560 or 80 every two weeks, if I get a bill for 4000 I'm devastated. If I get a bill for six or twenty-five thousand, I'm devastated. And the residents who I talk to, I can't speak for other council persons, they is proud. You know how many times Miss Johnson then called me and said, Have y'all got to this point yet? And so Mayor Weaver, if your administration held these from being shut off. Can you imagine this many people being shut off while we wait to correct this? So I'm going to vote and approve it. I ain't down with the language y'all heard on YouTube and on TV Miss Galloway say. I'm down with what the majority of the council done voted for to wipe out these bills no fault of their own, broken meters. We got another $10 million worth of meters to replace. So, Ms. Galloway, in all due respect, I don't know where you coming from. Councilman Ms. Galloway, don't, I didn't interrupt don't you. Point Go your ahead. To me. I you am. You got my attention. You don't speak for this council. I speak for me. And what you said and recorded, I probably get calls and people will say, Am I going to get a check for $25,000? I don't think you characterize that right. Talking about residents getting 25,000. When I heard it, I know the details. And if I did not know the details, I would be wondering, am I going to get a check for 25,000? So you might not have heard you, but I heard it. And yeah, I am going to say your name. I can say your name because you're on this council and you don't speak for this whole council. And the way you characterize it, I wish you'd be polite and say, if I said that, I want to correct it. But I know what I heard. And I know what these people heard. And I'm telling you from Kate Fields talking about a point of information, wrong, here it is. From you, the way you treated me at the beginning is me and talk somewhat wrong. Believe me, you don't have to agree with me, but I'm going to speak for myself the residents that I represent, and believe me, residential, commercial, we got broke meters. And this administration, along with this council, then come up with a way to fix it, 
and we're going to continue to move in that direction, and I'm going to vote in support. But the motion is to move this to council. And Mr. Newsom, we need this to try to release the money. So I'm going to be voting in favor of it. You, Ms. Galloway, can do what you want. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pierre. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify, Mr. Newsom. I know uh, just so everybody can kind of understand that as well, we can't get any of this money unless we pass some type of resolution to send it to the state. That is correct. And uh, I want to say for what we had last time we discussed in the compromise, I do think this is compromise for my opinion mm -hmm. i don't speak for the rest of the council I appreciate uh, but trying to get that because i recall correctly uh, this was one of the main reasons that money was allocated when i voted mm -hmm. uh so that those residents that had those high bills and had to see those bills specifically and i did get trying to spread it out over a certain amount of time which is some of the way you proposed it but well, now we have an extra well not an extra but we have some left over that thing we can decide if we want to spread that out yeah and this is just the hundred and seventy two thousand out of that We'll have so much thousands and thousands left to figure that out and come up with a different plan. So as you know, I, I love whiteboards, but <laughs> I, I'll, I'll abstain from that tonight. But we started off with 633. This is we're proposing to use 170 of this this way, which leaves you 460, right? So after tonight, we're going to push very hard to find another 540, 550 to get us to a million. So that takes care of your first 172. We're going to disperse that as councils per council's pleasure based on what we talked about last time, and then take the rest and try and create that million dollars. Originally it was going to be 1.2, that was my vision, but now it's looking like a million. I think we can still work with a million and create a fund that, that we can get a decent return on. So that's the game plan. So. Can, Mr. Newsom, can I just point of information for myself? Sure. Are you saying that in order for us to release the funds, mm -hmm. we have to provide the plan and disperse the money at the same time? We don't have to disperse the money, but we do have to have a, some sort of a resolution. Correct. That we, which you all have to agree on. Right, but with, for the record, so we can it doesn't mean that we have to disperse money. Uh, to get the I mean, money. at some point you do. Right, but yes. but I just want to I want to make sure that we clarify mm -hmm. that a plan and a plan plus dispersing money right is not the same thing. But is that correct? Exactly, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be right now. Right? It doesn't have to be mm -hmm. perfect. perfect. I just want to make sure. No, yeah. you answered the question. I just want to mm -hmm. make sure mm -hmm. that nobody looks at Councilwoman Galloway like she's holding up money when this resolution includes two components. But but let me. I gotta clarify this. Please do. Galloway. I gotta clarify do. this. But in order, even if we still need to tell a number of entities, Correct. this is going to be a grant provided by MDQ. Correct. Right. So they are waiting for us to define if we're going to. We take it all and endow it, then we'll, we'll, we'll lose. There's an opportunity cost with us not having the money this month, next month, next month in terms of appreciation, right? So I want to make that clear. Okay. And just in general, I don't want to wait past the fiscal year right. and then have another government body or wait till this fiscal year or worse yet, another gov governor's administration Come and say, change. you didn't use it, now you lost it. Okay. So let's just get the money in how we can get it in. Thank you. Mr. Winfrey. Thank you, Madam Chair. And then um, Ms. Fields Mr. Newsom, Mr. Yes, sir. Uh, just a yeah. point of clarity. Mm -hmm. So, in my, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm looking at the account balance. That's telling me what that resident owes. Yes, their current balance. And then when I look at the relief, mm -hmm. it's telling me what we're willing to, to share. Very good. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, now, now what, what's confusing is I'm looking at some of the account balances. And they're lower. And what they owe is lower than the, the relief that we're, we're so, providing. So if they had paid. Mm -hmm. on that um let's say that um correction okay right okay. then you know in theory they've already you know they've already paid in advance and so their account balance is going to show hey i wiped out 500 i had a 500 dollars correction and then from there yes. um you know i now it was zero but i still had a 500 dollars correction okay. so in a way we thought it would be fairer for us to not prejudge whether or not you went ahead and paid mm -hmm. or waiting to pay. Okay. So that's the reason we did it that way. So I'm glad you asked that okay. because you might even see some negative numbers because that is reflective of the credit gotcha. that came from last year that was applied later. And then the last thing, mm -hmm. we've discussed, you and I, yes, as well as you and I, because you've said in some meetings for me, with a resident that I have, mm -hmm. and, and I looked at their their uh, balance, mm -hmm. and it's it's five thousand, but they're only getting a certain amount of money, which won't even make a dent in it. Right. So just so you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to be fighting for that 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 resident because that resident pays the bill, uh -huh. and this is the this is what we negotiated. Right. What we negotiated right. the seven fifty is for those folks who pay their bill, and then all of a sudden they get a bill, and it's 
and played. Right. And so what I want to make sure is they should have appeared. You should find their address on this list because you stipulate. You did. You did see her. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. So we're good. We're right here. Yes. Uh, quick questions. So, Mr. Winfrey asked my one of my questions. Okay. So I have conclusion. Mr. Winfrey. Um, are these people who are getting this water relief? Are you going to be giving them a 1099 because of in that income to them? So, look, that is a that is a, that is a great question. We haven't explored that part of it yet, so let me get back to you on that. Because in theory, you know, I'd like to do it in some form of fashion that we don't have to, but I don't obviously we can't break the law. So that's a good question. Um, let me get back to you on that. Well, I, I think we need to be really sure about this. Mm -hmm before we start giving this debt relief because I don't think any of these people will be too thrilled to know now they're going to owe taxes on 25000 or 15000 or whatever. Uh -huh. And I believe this came out of, I remember Mr. Griggs said, are these people that owe this money because we made a mistake, because we had faulty equipment? You know, why, if that's the case, why should they have to pay anything if it's truly a case of our equipment was faulty? It was our fault. Well, I wouldn't say that it's that they owe the money they were under bill. So if if Amazon sends me something and they charge me fifty dollars for it, but I, it was actually hundred, do I not still owe Amazon money? It was an underbilling versus an error, right? It was truly under, truly an underbilling. So I think I don't think I fully agree with the fact that it's a true clerical error, other than the fact that we had to resort to estimated readings versus actual readings. And then on top of that, I will also say we do have an ordinance that protects uh, residents as well. So I, I don't know if I feel one percent sure saying it was an error versus an underbid. Okay, well, we've got about approximately 30,000 water customers in the city of Flint. Okay, and you've got uh, in residential 246 customers here. How did you get this particular list? Did these people have to make a complaint, or was this from our records? Okay, what I so had, what I had um, a monitor to me over in my customer service do is pull every single account that's residential that had seen an adjustment of 10 units or more. So that's where that list came from. And then um, 10 50 per unit is how you get to the, to the relief amount. Okay, thank you. But very good point in terms of taxes. We, we have to figure out how to structure this in such a way um, that we get somebody doesn't get socked for a $25,000 as, as if they received $25,000 uh, and, and also, I'm sorry, I was interrupted uh, in the middle of making a referral. I wanted to make sure that Dina got that referral for the water leakage study. Did you get that? Yeah, I just put down that you want the results, if they have results. I want the uh, report, the most current report. I do believe they should have finished that by now, mm -hmm. Mr. Bandit. So, um, we have not, that's not been out for uh, bid yet. So it will be, the goal was to put it out in, in April and get it done before the end of the fiscal year. This fiscal year. <coughs> so the water leakage report we have is the old one? Yes. Okay, uh, well then you can freak forget it because it's going to be a while before we get a new report. Right. Well, I guess the referral will be is when that report comes out, I'd like a copy of it. Yes, I guess to legal. I'll make that referral to legal. Will these individuals getting this water relief, will they have to receive a 1099 for I think, isn't that an IRS question that yeah, that's the why. CFO can I think, handle? I think, let me research it. I think it's probably, it's probably more for finance versus legal. So uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. So put, put my finance, because I think, I think these people are going to be really shocked. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I think we should change this last column. It's not really relief, mm -hmm. it's correction. Yeah. We made the mistake. And we're taking the 700, part of our $750,000 and we're giving it to the water. That's all I see. I don't see any relief to any citizen or any resident. But I think, and then let me look at this example. 
Uh, the fifth one down, mm -hmm. 2009 Lincoln Drive. The red relief is $5,743.50. So does that mean you're going to give them, you're going to write a check, and they have a zero we're account balance? Their account. We, we're just what are you going to do with that $5,750? We have to give them a credit because they've already paid that inflated amount. Okay. So you're going to... Okay, you're going to do it by credit. Mm -hmm. Credit the account. We're not writing a check. I, I, I'll let you, I don't think it ought to be called relief. We can, we can change it for the record. It needs to be called correction. <coughs> because I, I, I feel that our three quarters of a million was intended for relief. Mm -hmm. And now it's just going. Well, for the, again, for the 172,000 is going for. I, I have to say this. Correction. I have to say this. This is reflective of what we discussed in committee and in special meetings. That this was council's. This is this part of it was the wish of council. So there. Yeah. Again, we we've, we've had multiple meetings on this. So we have to reach consensus. Is this the point? This is a compromise. Yeah. I'm not saying that for the record because everything we say is recorded. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. Thank you. Okay, so with the concerns that have been raised about this, I don't feel comfortable just pushing this through because twenty-five thousand dollars is what some people make in a year. So if they're going to be taxed on that, like that's something I want to know first before we move forward. And is there a way that we can just uh, this is to me as well a correction uh, because whether uh, we. Did it by uh, the actual versus uh, estimated read. I still believe it was our mistake. I mean, that's a lot of money that we weren't charging residents over the years, and that's that's the city of Flint's uh, responsibility. So I, I don't know about this. The money, just giving it or crediting, crediting. Um, I think it should be more like just a correction. <laughs> wiped out, but I don't know how that works. How would that work? I so mean, because we, we've so already I, paid for it in our budget, or I don't know how that works. <laughs> so, I mean, well, first of all, in terms of a budget, this is this is going to come in as a grant, right? So it's not coming from general, from city of, okay. from tax, from tax and revenue or income tax revenue or something like that. This is coming as a grant. Okay. So that's that's one thing that's important. But I do, don't, I don't want residents to be hit, so I need to sit down with some, with some experts and figure out how to structure this but um again i think that we can we can definitely i'm looking at i think we can find a way to do it and again what we can do if, i would prefer us to, if we want to amend the resolution to state that um pursuant to the finance department um finding you know, figuring out we could work on the language but i don't want us to do is hold this up because again it's you know, this, this is the third meeting we discussed it, and you know, a number of different entities are kind of waiting on us to make a decision. So I agree with you. This this question needs to be answered, um, but we can answer. I think we can answer it in the next day or two, pretty quickly. Um, and if council wishes to amend the resolution with some, with some language pursuant to um, clarification on taxes or pursuant to um, the, the administration finding a way to do it as a as a correction as opposed to a gift or credit or income or debt forgiveness then we can do that as well. Mr. Newsom, sure. isn't it um wouldn't this be likened to the credit that we got from the state? Yep. Mm -hmm. Didn't get it to because the right. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, that's correct. That's so correct. So, that's so, correct. so that's maybe that's that question that question I didn't want to say I was thinking the same I didn't want to say it for the record without research. I got you. So that's the reason I didn't want to say anything that had to retract later. Okay. Madam Chair. Yeah, I mean, if people want this in committee, what y'all want it in? A different committee for further discussion? Let's get it on that committee and move on with special affairs or a motion can be made. It's a motion on the floor. Short of me calling for the question and how long we done spent on this again, put it for discussion in the committee. Because under our rules of motion for reconsideration, I'm going to go out on the line. It's very similar to the credits we had. And I didn't file them. It wasn't no income for me. And so I think it's the similar thing. And we raising questions that should be talked about in committee. And I'm ready to move forward. If y'all want it in finance committee, Ms. Fields put it in that. 
if you think it's government, I put it in there. But we in special affairs, and I'm ready to vote without calling for the question. Can we have the vote? Are you calling for the question? No, I'm not. Is there any more discussion? <laughs> Hearing none, all in favor of moving this to council say aye. 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 Those that oppose. Any abstentions? Madam Chair, Madam Chair, can I just caution this body that we have a six o'clock meeting, council meeting, we got folks out there waiting. Five thirty. Five thirty. It's always five thirty. Okay. All right. We'll get that next Okay. Here's the reason. Yeah, Brian. Thank you, it wouldn't do for me to be present. It'll be all the time. I'm gonna name myself President, Vice President. I'm wearing everything. Take wide and pass it. That's what we do at school. Take wide and pass it. Take wide and pass it. So this would be. That on number two. That on number two. Okay, um, does everybody have a copy of the There's a resume that went along? Um, what we have before you is a uh, resolution approving the economic development consultant agreement for consultant Matthew Bridge. Administration is recommending that we uh, go into a consulting agreement contract with uh, Matthew Griggs to um, work with the city of Flint to sell our grant. Uh, Mr. Griggs, who we paid a compensation rate of uh, $12,500 per month. And this uh, agreement is from March 5th, 2018 through March 1st, 2019. Point of information. Point of information. Amendment two. Point of information. This would be add on number two. Right. Wow. Thank you, Sylvia. This is a Um, Madam Chair. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, Councilman. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Councilman Fields asked uh, Councilman Mays, please forgive me. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to postpone this uh, to the next uh, finance committee. Uh, this is quite a substantial contract. We didn't even get the copy of the Point of order, point of order. Is it a motion or are we in discussion? You can't do both. I ain't down with that. What's going on here? Well, I want you to be down with it. Well, I, I, you ain't got to worry about what you want. I'm telling you how I am. Is it a motion, a motion, and a discussion? Point of order. Keep her quiet talking to me. Let's pull two weeks to finance. That time. Been moved and seconded. Ms. Worthington. Been moved and seconded. Is there discussion? Ms. Fierce. Yes. I would just like to say that, uh, number one, this is quite a significant contract. Number two, we just got a copy of the grant. We didn't know anything about the grant. Um, I, for one, haven't even had a chance yet to read what the grant application was for. And the budget in the grant application was very unclear, um, the way the budget was constructed about what the money would actually be used for. So I need more time to not only uh, review the grant, to understand what it is the city is trying to do with this grant and with the money, and to also um, do some research on, on Matthew Gibb. 
Thank you, Mr. Councilman. I yield to Ms. Worthy. Okay. Uh, first of all, I mean, I, I want to quit my job, and I'm, I want to do this because four thousand five hundred dollars a month. What is the? Uh, what I need somebody finance. Somebody help me out. Who do I need to make referral to? And uh, what is the normal pay for somebody doing this type of work? Because it seems a lot. Well, how do you get the thousand? <laughs> I, I, that's what I, that's all I when, when, when you have to go out and acquire top talent, right. you have to pay money for it. And, and well, I'm talented. Right. Well, well, I don't know how I can. <laughs> I mean, but but when you have the kind of experience that, right. that, the, that our consultant has, he has well, been the economic <laughs> development director for Oakland County for the past seven years. He has a proven track record. Right. Okay, I'm, I just, I would like that so, information. I mean, I think I'm top talent too. Yeah, I, I know. Not, <laughs> I do not have a resume or backup to support what uh, Mr. Gibb has. Right. Well, it says right here is Eddie. Point of order. Hold up, Jack. Yeah. I still would just like to know what normal compensation comparable. Like a teacher makes starting out 30000 a year. So, I mean, I don't know if I have to do that research myself, but I would like to know if it's comparable to what we're doing here. Because it just, it just seems really excessive well, to Well, this is not a, a opening salary position. So you cannot compare this with the starting rate of a teacher. Or the ending rate of a teacher may be 60000 well, the engineer starting rate is, is 60000 so how can you compare that? So. <laughs> I'd like to try, because it's yeah. a lot. Are you done? Yeah. 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 Councilman Mays is back to you. Yeah, Madam I Chair. I, I got it. Um, Mayor Weaver, do I need to yield to you? No, I was going to say I know uh, in his previous position he was making well over 200000 so this was quite a cut for him to come here. Mm -hmm. And one of the things he talked about was really wanting to be able to make a difference. And I'm going to tell you, he reminded me of something that Huey said when we interviewed him. Uh, and it stuck with me was he said he could continue to make rich Excuse people rich richer. Excuse me. Or we he listen to see what the mayor is saying. We so okay. We that is the same kind of thing he said. So we, we could not know. offer him his salary. Yeah, well, whatever, Miss 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 Galloway. Yeah, if you want to play back then with me, I got the flow. You don't have the flow. I don't? No. I thought I yield I to thought, the mayor. Well, I, but was the mayor done? All I'm saying is, I think she was. Not being rude. You've been talking the whole Ma Ma meeting. Madam Galloway, I think the only thing making just, me Just go ahead and Why are you are you interrupting me? Because I, I got the flow. You are so obnoxious. That's what I you are. You've been talking the whole time. That's what I'm going to call you in about two seconds the whole making time. attacks on me. I don't think I'm at I don't care. You I are. think if you we want to get into this calling names, I'm going to tell you what I think about you. Yes, are you ready? ready? I, so if you didn't I'm open so the ready. floor for name I'm calling. Okay, you've been doing okay, it for Okay, well then let me do it. Be quiet. So I for four years. Keep calling me. Goodness. So now for four years. You ask the ma mayor to answer, and then That's come on, you Councilman Mays. You just come on, just do what you do. Be great without trying to make everybody seem small. Just be great, man. I want you to be great. Let me be wow. great obnoxiously. Yeah, wow. Let me be wow. great wow. obnoxiously. Please. Because as you label me as great obnoxiously, a personal attack. What you and some of the others has been doing, I've been obnoxious, I've been a racist, and so Miss Galloway, as you sat here, wrongfully chairing a meeting, making personal attacks, nitpicking on how and what I talk, talking about how I've been for four years, versus you interrupted me. I didn't interrupt your obnoxious. You can't handle it. I can't. Well then let me talk and be quiet and quit it. Trying to give point of order. You out of order. I am. I apologize. Please move on. Apologize for calling me obnoxious. I apologize for calling you obnoxious. Then let me proceed. Please do. It ain't an apology when you say I apologize, but it was inappropriate. It was inappropriate. Miss Galloway, please. You out of order. I can't even apologize to you. Ask me for Just give me the flow and be quiet. 
The Lord wants you to do it. <laughs> oh Lord, I'm caught. We calling on him. We in serious business, and you nitpick it on personality. I'm not gonna support the motion to postpone. And if people wanna have special meetings, I've been fighting for economic development for four years. That you say I've been obnoxious, and so I know when I talk to Michael Finney and others, these people cost money. And I got confidence that the mayor and her staff been interviewed and looked at. Now, I'm going to say this, Mayor Weaver. Even though we might end up with a professional service agreement, I'm looking at this new charter. And interim appointments can be made without even this council, from what I read. Interim appointments for 90 days can be made. I don't want this council standing in the way of progress. You done did a good job with leader. We see development not just downtown, but now all around town. And every time we get to some, whether it's 125,000 or 200,000 for North Flint reinvestment, I hear the same speeches, and I'm just gonna call them the blockers, Maurice. And I'm not going to be a part of it. You done interviewed Matthew Gibbs. Y'all know who he is. I'm looking forward to meeting. But I'm not going to support Miss Fields' motion to postpone. And if it's disposed of, then we'll see if we move this to council. So I know it's a motion on the floor to postpone. And I hear how obnoxious I am. I'm proud to be obnoxious for the right thing. And I'm getting tired of the mess, so I'm going to stick with this business of not supporting the motion to postpone. But I guarantee you 100%, I'm going to circle back on these personal attacks. Ms. Galloway, you're going to catch holy heck trying to attack me politically in a public arena. People looking, I guarantee you, after I finish this business and in the middle of it, I will circle back on your personal attacks, Ms. Galloway. I'm going to urge this council to stick with the business because I have no problem, Mr. Shelley, dealing with people personally. And you will see me do it. I promise you I'll do it because my reputation and my daddy's reputation, Pastor May, Shiloh, we ain't no joke to play with around here. Miss Galloway, I don't care where you come from, California, this, that, the other, but it ain't gonna happen to me. Maurice, I don't think it's gonna happen to you. I'm from this community, and you're not finna come here and Point belittle me. Mr. Mays is way off. Now she was way off when she went obnoxious, and you died right with her. Miss, call me a racist. Is that true? Thank you for the flow. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry. We have Mr. Griggs. We have Mr. Griggs. We have Winfrey Carter. We have Mr. Davis, and then Mr. Winfrey. And Mr. So yeah, but second time around. Yeah. So Mr. Griggs. I'm sorry, Mr. Guerra. Oh, Miss. I just wanted to say, just to point out that, um, Madam Mayor, when you spoke, I couldn't hear you at all. <laughs> Not just because then, but you Would you like to make your statement again on the record? I mean, oh, I, I thought okay. I had wrote it, but it's not on the recording. What, what I said earlier was that uh, Matt was making well over 200000 so for us to give him was a huge pay cut for him. One of the things I also said was he reminded me of Huey, actually. When, mm -hmm. when we interviewed Huey, one of the things he said was, we couldn't pay Huey his salary. We couldn't pay him what he should be getting any place else he could go. But one of the things he said was, I could continue to make rich people richer, or I could go someplace where I could make a difference. And this was this this was Matt saying, uh, you know, this is what he said to us as well. It was something very similar. So uh, that was why his salary is what it is. We told him coming to Flint, we can't afford him, and this is what we could do based on the grant. Yeah, just for that, I do see how <coughs> expensive or it would cost to have, depending <laughs> on the grant. Uh, and I know that we just got the grant relatively recently as well, so I would like to uh, wait 
for the finances to kind of go over it. But what I would like to see is him actually come in. So if we have any questions, uh, we can ask him personally uh, because I get that you guys interviewed him and uh, he may be a good guy. I just want to see that in myself just before agreeing uh, to this. And I think that that would be very productive, not only for us, but for the citizens who come and see as well. <coughs> so they get a chance to see who he is. That's all I have to say on the issue. Thank you. Next we have Mr. Griggs. Okay. Uh, since I guess, we're, well, we don't really have a uh, job description, and uh, but if he's going to be in charge of all economic development, has he ever owned a business? Has he ever owned a business? I'm asking this to anybody. Are you you're leading this, Steve? I want to know if he's ever owned a business. It was not indicated in his resume. I know that. I saw but, do um, not see it. But he, he, has, he has led economic development for Oakland County. Well, okay, and we're asking him to lead the economic development for the city of Flint. I understand. And if he's capable of leading the economic development and successfully for seven years in Oakland County, well, I'm certain that he could be a benefit to the city of Flint. And again, this is a time sensitive matter. The Kellogg grant, because it is new money coming into the city of Flint, has to go to our town for approval. For that three million dollars to come into the city of Atlanta. Is he going to be expected to do anything? Like he says in here something about storage tanks. You know, a lawyer doesn't have a clue what storage tank is. That's a resume. Yeah, I know. I saw this is, this is I've read it. All. I've read it all. And I see where he got his JD. It took him three years and he got his BA from Alma College. Where is that? It's in Alma, Michigan. Okay. But uh I, I, you know, the guy's getting 150000 a year, which, I, you know, is normal for a lawyer. But what we're entrusting him to do, if he's never owned a business, how can he be in charge of all of our economic development? And if he, and if he has no, Mr. What, what does some industry want to come Mr. Gibbs is a seasoned professional at economic development. And being a seasoned professional at economic development is not necessary state that you have to own a business to do that. Sir. I think it would be wise. So that's your opinion. Because it well, be it is my not opinion, but necessarily yeah. a requirement. Because I, I think uh, well, yeah, no, I don't understand. But I, I guess I'm supposed to. I'm done. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Um, Mr. Branch, how, how time sensitive is this? This is time sensitive. You know, oh, if you recall that grand agreement, we had to have a proposal by the end of April done. Okay. We also have to have our monies approved, and we have to get we have to get things in place. The longer we delay, we jeopardize things. You guys, Excuse me. there are people that are saying that they can't hear. And with that being said, um, Mr. Branch, I do, um, I'm gonna, you know, accept this and I'll be voting for this. And I would like to yield to uh, our attorney. Yeah, I just wanna let you know that um, we're doing everything we can to get the, the, the close to $3 million Kellogg grant before the RTAB for approval. And so we're kind of like, on hold to get everything to them. We have called, made you know special calls to make sure that we can have a meeting as soon as possible, which would be on Monday. Um, I think it's the fifth. Yeah, Monday, March fifth. So we're we're doing everything to get this before them because, in addition to that, one getting the talent, but the other part is. Um, and making sure that the requirements under the actual grant are met because there are immediate um, things that have to be done. Uh, some of the dates are in April. Um, they, have to, they have to be met and so we need the capacity through the individuals to, to do so. Thank you. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited about um, the economic development initiative and I'm gonna um, Support this, uh, Councilman Davis. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, Steve, I'd like to ask a question. Um, wasn't the Kellogg grant attributed to the functioning of a economic development department? Putting that together. 
That economic? is correct. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the purpose of Flint? The city of Flint does not have an economic Absolutely. development department. So I would like to say this on behalf of me and nobody else. I'm embarrassed for, for sitting here with my colleagues for marrying administration, for being put in a situation for seeking money to help the city right. move forward to get us new corporations looking at Flint such as Lear and what have you corporations coming in and um, get treated like that was, that's a bad thing when it's a blessing. Nobody brought in one dime. The Marion administration got together and got a catalog of just about three million dollar package. And we sitting here like it's something bad about it. We want to hold up funding. We sitting in these chairs to move, you claim we was voted in to move the city forward, but we playing a game with every resident sitting here you represent. We got to get out this old mindset to move the city forward. We can't keep postponing. We got to be man and woman enough to woman up, man up, to know the mayor got enough talented people to do what needs to be done. Uh, you could blow, but the election coming again soon. But I want to say this to the whole administration, whoever you get, y'all know they qualified. Mr. Newsom is the smartest man I have seen, period, with numbers in his head. And I'm sure the mayor no talent in the administration know the right people to get here. I may not be worried in what you want to hear, but I'll tell you like this. I know people make millions of dollars. I'm one of them that could make. I know people ain't got now degree, but they got what they call talent to get things done. And that's what you're looking for. You ain't looking for no talent or no degree. Degrees do not give you talent. God do. And, and that's what we're looking for to move the city forward. And I believe the man administration know when they interview people, they get people like Mr. Newsom. It's good to have the degrees and backing, but this body got to get to where we start getting things done without playing games. And all the time, we got to put that same disrespectful microscope on everything that comes from administration. When do it stop? Hopefully today. I'm done. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Wayne. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I don't know how many of you saw the press conference when uh, the Kellogg Foundation gave this grant to the city of Flint. They expect us to move on this thing. They expect us to work. And they're giving us a critical amount of money to do that. <coughs> now, I don't know Mr. Gibb, but I'm reading about him. Uh, a former charter township uh, supervisor. Uh, has worked in economic development, has a law degree. Uh, so what I, what I see in this individual is that he has the capacity. Now, I know we were talking about a teacher's salary. This ain't a teacher's salary. I, I, I am a teacher. <laughs> this ain't a teacher's salary. And that's just the way it is. I, I mean, people don't have to like what I say, but I'm going to speak the truth. I'm going to stand on it like a rock. Now, I would like to see us if we really have some concerns about who this guy is, if you don't believe what you really is, that's a different story. But I would like to see us, and I believe that the that the Kellogg Foundation. I talked with with the uh, the uh, uh, program manager. I don't know if that's the correct that's for, uh, title for Mr. Nasheed Moore, but I talked with him, and he is expecting for us to get somebody who understands what the meaning of economic development is. If you ask me, I might tell you my definition of what it is and it might not, it might miss it. And it may be the same way around this table, I don't know. But here's what I would like to see us do. Let's get out of this mindset of postponing stuff all the time. We, there are other ways we can get the information that we need. That's how I feel. You can feel the way that you want to feel, I don't care. But I would like to see us stop postponing stuff and move stuff so that when we have to answer to, or when you have to answer to, the uh, 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 Kellogg Foundation, I don't believe that they would have a problem with this guy's resume. I just don't believe that. And when I look at his resume, I see economic development ability in him. When I look at his resume, I see municipal uh, municipality experience. That's what I see. So now I'm not saying no, you shouldn't have information, but I think that we should we should try our best to work as a team and show the Kellogg Foundation that we are a team. I don't believe that agreeing to move this guy forward would hurt 
this process not working. That's my feeling. And remember now, in the last committee meeting, we said we have a responsibility of creating an environment where everybody felt safe to, to, to say what they want. I just said what I wanted to say. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Madam Chair. No, no, it is my turn. Okay. I do have you guys written down. Mr. Griggs, if you want to take a turn. I just want, want to say for the record that um, this is a great opportunity. Um, I respect everything that my colleagues have said, and we should be working as a team. There's no question. I think that it is um, unfortunate that we get this information at the end of a special affair meeting going into a council meeting. We shared in previous times um, that getting something right away um, just, just it's not that you don't trust what's on the resume, but the new city charter has some different things in. This community has asked for transparency. There's supposed to be ordinances that have job qualifications and, and, and you know, all of these things. And so uh, I, I think that it's sad that, that it would be a shadow of the possibility of not working together because some people are saying, hey, I just got this. And we're all capable of reading, mm -hmm. but, but the charter says that there's supposed to be some ordinances that say what the economic and development manager does, what the human resource manager does. I know that this is a consulting agreement, but the job qualifications and responsibility for whoever holds the position should be the same. So so there are some things that are being skipped to do this. But it's un what, what is it? Are you Ms. sure? Winfrey Carter, did you have something to say? Oh, okay. Councilman May. Point of information. Please. Are you sure you describe in the right positions that the charter spells out? No, I'm all sure I'm, you are. I, my point is, you guys, and, and I don't mean this, I'm not saying this disrespectfully. I'm just saying that if we're creating an economic and development department, there still should be something that that department does. Their mission, the, you know, their vision. And, 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 oh, and I'm glad you mm, yeah. mentioned that, but one of the things Kellogg put in place is a time frame in which yes, to do yes, that, and they that. wanted the people hired yes. first, and they don't have to have that until a few months down the road. Yes because we didn't have anyone to work on that. And so they want the people hired first. And that's one of the requirements that were under the gun on us for them to put all of that together to present to Kellogg. Right. That's I'm that. not, and Ma Madam Mayor, I respect that. I'm just saying that as a body, for us to act as though we're not trying to move something forward because other people need information, it's not fair. We're a body of nine. Some council people feel very comfortable getting something right on the spot, reading what they have. But we need to give some room for anybody else without saying that we're lacking the ability to work together or we're not trying to do the things that are necessary to show Kellogg that we're serious. I think that Kellogg is an organization that wants to see all of us that are making decisions, making decisions that are right and comfortable. And so I, I, don't, I don't have a problem with this. I do have a problem with it not coming in a committee meeting. And I understand that it's time sensitive and I respect that. But there's still a way that it should come that we should all be able to get our questions answered wanting to meet somebody that's that's not unusual and so for us to make it seem like whoever needs those things may not be trying to move something forward or they're not showing teamwork i think it's just not a fair assessment and i just wanted to say that um madam chair the, um mr briggs trust me i got you on the list okay. um but everybody has spoken once and now Ms. Fields wants to speak, Ms. Worthing wants to speak, and Mr. Garrett wants to speak. If you'd like to speak after that, you're more than welcome. Okay. Please do. Please. Here's what I'd like to say, and I'm really glad the mayor is here today, because I want to talk about, this Mr. Gibbs could be the greatest thing since Huey Newsom. Okay. <laughs> and but if you recall, I took my time, okay, being willing willing to appoint Mr. Newsom because for all the talk of oh we've got to show teamwork and da 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 da, our job, 
okay, is not to be a rubber stamp for the mayor. However wonderful the mayor may be proposing something, that is not our job. Mm -hmm. Our job is to be a check and balance system. And at the very least, we have to be able to do a bit of research. Now, this is a, a large contract, okay? We don't even have a chance, since you brought it in special affairs, to call some references between the city council meeting, which follows this. And we have to be allowed that time to do our job and not be accused of not being team players or teamwork or whatever. And Mr. Davis, your logic eludes me, okay? You see anything other than immediate approval of whatever the administration brings as being, I don't know, some type of betrayal or some type of... I take that as an insult because you have no... Uh, I'm still talking. Well, they do it all the time. I'm glad you did. Amen. Uh, okay. According to the charter, okay, I'm going to do the job that I see it. And I want to postpone it because, yes, I'd like to meet the gentleman. I would like to call some of his references. I would like to be able to read the grant to understand what this person is supposed to do. Okay, I'd like to see if there's some in the grant, if there's some language that talks about the qualifications of what this person is supposed to do, then to be able to measure this person against those qualifications. I mean, you just can't do that when you bring an add-on at the very last minute. And I don't appreciate being characterized as being uh, opposing the mayor, okay, opposing her choice. Um, that's not the issue at all. I want to be able to do my job, okay? And I don't like being accused of not being a team player. It's not a matter of being a team player. It's a matter of doing my due diligence. And I would like an opportunity to do that. That's all. Ms. Uh, I just like to continue on with that sentiment. Um, excuse my 12,500 shock because I've always been in the healthy professions and that I don't ever see myself making that much in a month. But now that I'm over that, and part of that could be because I just got it. So maybe if I could have researched how much these people make and what it's normal, then I, I would have been okay. Um, but and that just goes to show that I just got this and so looking at it and it's 12,500 a month which is 150,000 and it's for a year in order to feel comfortable I need time I need time to read over this and not just within a five minute time period that's given to me I don't know if um, when he was hired or when you wanted to recommend him but if we could even have this ahead of the meeting time then that would be very helpful and that is our job is, is um, I don't see anyone here being an obstructionist in any way. I, I see us as just wanting time. And um, and, I, and as Ms. Galloway said, I don't think Kellogg would uh, just take away the grant because we took an extra meeting to figure out who Matthew Gibb is and, and, and also feel comfortable uh, that he gets this uh, contract as well as he's responsible for this very big grant in our city so uh, yes I need time and no way am I an obstructionist and no way was there any disrespect meant uh, towards the mayor or anyone else but it is quite a shock when you're receiving it as an add-on so that's all. Thank you Mr. Peter. Okay uh, so for this I do understand the importance of the RTAB and getting it there before it for the economic development and I do know we have a <laughs> National Committee meeting coming up. If I may ask, what's the time on that? It's at 3.30. Okay, so can I ask if we have a special meeting on this subject so it gets in before our tab this Wednesday, uh, before or after whatever time works with the rest of the council, so we can maybe have him there to discuss if we have any questions for Mr. Gibbs, and that way it gets in before the R tab the next on the Monday. Is that possible to amongst the council? Do we have to recognize that? Oh, oh, well, okay. she has, yep. um, now I was going to say that, you know, like I said, we've been talking to RTAP all weekend long to get a meeting for Monday of next week, and they are very um, strict on when we get things to them. As far as the Carlisle grant, we had to get this to them tonight. I sent an email yesterday evening 
asking like special consideration because we need to get this out to them. They wanted it Tuesday, I believe it was Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning to consider it for the the Monday meeting because when it goes to Treasury, it doesn't just like go to the RTAC chair and it's done. There's a whole procedure for it going and making its way through Treasury uh, and vetting it before it goes to their actual special meeting. So. Like I said, um, we were asking for special consideration just because, of, and I appreciate that too, Councilman Guerra, to, to try to expedite it. I, I, I just can't tell you for sure that they're gonna honor that because we're asking them to honor for tomorrow for the for the Monday. So we, we just, we don't know if they're going to uh, allow that. Point of information to the attorney, um, just based on what you said, why is it that the RTAB can ask for more time <laughs> to approve this? No, that's what we, we, we didn't mean. Mm -hmm. like, like, well, that's we, what we you wanted mean. yesterday. I mean, no, no, I'm mean? just, well, just based on what you said, because Councilman Guerra just put, Councilman Guerra asked if this could be added to a special meeting that we're already holding on Wednesday. But what you're saying to this body is, we need you to approve it now so that the RTAB can have it tomorrow so that they can consider approving it on Monday. I thought that's, that's not, what you that's said. Not that's not our choice. We're, we're following what they give us. You guys can also follow and make the decision tonight to do it. So like I said, when, when you're running up against the brick wall and they're telling you no, then you have to do some of the things. And, and, and so, like I said, and that's no, I'm not, no, I'm not just, talking I'm just to, Okay, to I want to make sure I'm not no, directing that no, to you. No, I'm saying, no, 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 what, I just, okay, right. I appreciate that because, right. like I said, we're just, we're, we're trying to do things and that's why we're here on the weekend trying to get certain things done so we can get them to you and as soon as we can so like i said but and we, it's just a lot of timelines from everyone and so we're, we're trying to, to use those but like i said I, I mean i just can't promise that even though and i appreciate that concession that you're trying to make i just don't know that that's going to cut it because of our other conversations and huey can add on to that right that is that's great i was just making a point i just had her hand up before yeah, sorry. I, I just wanted to point out that Wednesday's meeting is a special legislative committee meeting. Yeah, it's called so council. I don't know, uh, right. you have to post it. Yeah, time though. Yeah. Right. If but she's so. saying that there's but yeah, I just wanted to point out that that is not a council meeting. Um Mr. Newsom, I'm sorry. Uh, did you want to yield to Mr. Newsom? Uh, yeah, uh, just to add some some more to what um just to, to, some more to what the city attorney was saying there uh, i said countless but there were many many discussions over the weekend and we are we are definitely kind of stuck in the middle of this administration kellogg definitely wants to put me on the ball rolling on this in fact we have i think it's april 30th that we have to, pro that to provide an evaluation report on how we're going to evaluate and you know set up those metrics that you were talking about before like what is this going to be? some very specific metrics that um, we have to um, define and present to them, right, for the lifetime of the grant. And so we're, we're, I get your frustration, but at the same time, understand the situation we're in. You know, when someone like Kellogg comes and says $3 million, they're not just going to wait for us six weeks, eight weeks, whatever. And we have the constraints that we have with the, um, with the RTAB. And, just as we've been negotiating, trying to negotiate and talk to you all, there were multiple conversations this weekend to provide us a little bit more, as much room as possible on the RTAP side. So this is the situation that we're in. Point of information, Mr. Newsom, mm -hmm. I hope you realize that even with Mr. Gator's recommendation, you do realize that he, he asked about two days, not six weeks right. or eight weeks. And, and I understand, okay. I'm just, and just for your, okay. just for your point, just, right. again, I want to make sure it's clear that if we were to have the meeting on Wednesday, the best we could do in terms of getting something to Treasury would be end of day Wednesday, probably Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. That gives, that it takes Treasury time to package things up for the board. So you're talking that the board has roughly a day. This one business day before we have to go. And you know, and, and to that point, you know, you, it, we did bring Kellogg up last, you know, in committee. Kellogg was brought up in committee. And so these are the positions that align with that grant. So this isn't 100, a 100% 100 surprise. Yeah, can I, well, can I call a meeting for tomorrow at 7 p.m.? Yes, special meeting. Let's get it done.
Well, we would have to impose. It's good to add to be 24. Uh, point, point, point. That's like, man, can you answer your question? If I'm allowed, there's some motion on the floor. Yeah. Okay. We gotta vote it up and down or something. You can talk about that later. Mr. Mr. Um, Mr. Councilman Gara has the floor. Uh, okay. So you probably wanna ask um Dina if that question if we have enough time to post in if his body is gonna be available for us. Do you have a question again? For <laughs> Wednesday? Uh, for tomorrow. And then we have to have enough time. <coughs> Unless I stop at the meeting and go post right now. You did a great job though. Roof, roof, roof. Um, okay, on my list was Mr. Riggs. Yes. Uh, it seems like every other week or every other meeting we get this last minute stuff and when this last minute stuff hits my alarms go up it's just like Trump kind of you know it's like the mushroom training program I guess you've heard that you know what that means I don't know if y'all are familiar with it but I feel like I'm in a mushroom training program where you keep me in the dark and keep me in a lot of bad stuff and then candy later on. Uh, I I don't I don't like this last minute business. We need seven days. We really do. And matter of fact, if we had seven days, even on these agendas, the public could get to see them, and we could have some great public input before our council meeting starts. We need to be more transparent. And this is a hidden thing. They may have somebody may have been talking to Mr. Gibb. I got no problem with him. He looks fully qualified and whatnot to do this job. But you know, maybe Frank's been talking to him for three or four months. Maybe taking him out to dinner and whatnot. Well, why wait to the last minute? And it's hard to have it. It's got to go. I'm done. <laughs> Councilman. Uh Maze Fields. <coughs> yeah, this is my position, Mr. Gr Mr. Griggs. Welcome to City Council. Yeah. In a city this size, and maybe some bigger or smaller, mm -hmm. you gonna have Adam. And so, welcome to City Council. It's gonna be Adam. And whoever set up here and make issues with Adam ain't understanding government. I met the Kellogg Foundation when we did a premiere of a movie called America Divided. I happened to be in the movie. I loved it. And they showed me as a UAW person coming into city government. Sit down, strike. It was a good movie. The president of the Kellogg Foundation is an African-American female. That's relevant because as I talked to her, even before we knew about this grant, she committed to help Flint. Yeah. And she's proud of the mayor that we have. And so she's committed to help Flint. They're the second largest foundation in the country. Mm -hmm. They're bigger than the my foundation. Mm -hmm. And so if you understand the mechanics of government and add-ons, the way I look at this is, I'm not going to vote on the motion to postpone it. What was the motion? For two weeks? The venue? Yeah, yeah, postpone the finance. To finance. And I don't want it up under Miss Fields' committee. It's a grant. If it was under any committee, it would be postponed to Miss Winfrey Carter's committee. I done seen stuff postponed to finance wrongfully. I ain't studying what Kate Fields talking about. So I'm not going to support postponing it, particularly to the finance versus grants, Mr. Gary. Uh, Point of information. Okay. Now, Mrs. Wilcox. No, Mr. Griggs, you have to just ask your point of make you your Let him question. see what he's going to say. Don't interrupt him. What do you want me to do now? In the point of Y'all make it longer. When you say point of the just stop and see what he's going to say before okay. you interrupt him. All right, Mrs. Wilcox. Uh, I discussed that we were told about this grant 
in February of 2018 or 17? I, re I received a call from Mr. Griggs before this meeting and he was um, he was referring to the question that he had at the last council meeting yep. about the grant. Um, yep. I reminded him that that grant had been distributed by Mr. Branch at the last meeting um, and yep. and that is, that's the conversation we had. So I'm not but, exactly but we sure. First knew it if I may no, continue. Yeah. Councilman Griggs, I'm sorry. Your, your point of information is Okay. If I may continue. So this is what I look at. If you're going to put your best foot forward, in a department created, you need somebody with expertise as a consultant. That's what this is. And so the sooner you get somebody with expertise in, the sooner you can get moved. This might not be the champion guy, but he gonna have the expertise of the city to get the city moving in that direction. I'm not trying to postpone it. And Mr. Vera, you really had the best thought. The postponement to finance committee was the best thought. It should have been grants, if any. And the special meeting aspect is a better thought than that. I would have said, wanted to see what would happen with an amended motion. But I'm a motion for reconsideration type guy. I'm the type guy, if you want to meet Mr. Matthew Gill, I would make a referral that he come and show itself maybe on Wednesday or whenever possible. But that don't mean I can't vote on this now and keep moving. Because we got vehicles for special meeting and other forms to get down to the nitty gritty. And we can always, under the council rules, reconsider things. So I'm hoping that we have enough votes not to postpone this to um, finance committee meeting and the, in order to do that and move on at 6 30 I'm gonna call for the question so all in favor of postponing this oh, I'm sorry call for the question um, do we have to do a roll call for the call for the question yeah, yeah. Let's okay do that for please be we're going to come to meeting tomorrow. No, no, this no, 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 no. is to, to vote, check, answer. No, yes. I'm not postponing it, but right now we vote in the call for the question because we passed it up. We don't vote yes or no. Um, so it still um, comes off for the question. If you want to talk to the house, vote no. If you're ready to vote on postponement, vote yes. No, talk some more. Yes. Jameen, are you ready for the call for the question? Call for Quick the question. Thank you. Mr. Mays? Uh, yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mr. Guerra? No. Ms. Fields? No. Ms. Winfrey Carter? Yes. Mr. Winfrey? Yes. Ms. Galloway? Yes. Mr. Griggs? No. Ms. Worthing? No. Vote is five yes, four no to call for the question. So that brings us to the motion on the floor. The motion on the floor is to postpone this. You have to wait to postpone the motion, even though we did call for the question on postponement yeah. finance. Yeah. Yeah. Postponement of finances. Hey. Are we going to roll call on that one too, or just no? I'll let you go. Postpone the finance. Huh? Madam Chair. Madam Chair, there is no I'm not, it's proper to ask for clarification on the motion. A yes is postponement, a no is no postponement. And it's on the motion to what? Postpone the finance. Yes. It's going to count, it, it's um, for clarity. Newsom, can, can I just ask you a clarifying question before we vote? Um, is it appropriate, I know it's a grant, but is it appropriate for PSAs and or? Point of order, point of order, point of order. We didn't call for the question. We out of discussion. Point of order. That was on the motion itself. Right. And on the motion itself, not the details of the motion. That's <laughs> 
on the motion, clarifying the motion. Am I right, Mr. Okay. President? Stop or two. Clarify. No, it ain't. Only on the motion. Uh, we got to vote on the motion. Uh -huh. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, how do, do we need roll call or just all in favor of? Just a voice vote. All in favor of postponing this to finances, say aye. Aye. All opposed? Nay. No. All abstain. I would call for Sounds a hand Sounds like count. the nays have I would call for a hand count. If, if it was two people, we right. are, it is, the, the, the motion fails. Person can call Thank for you. a hand count. Okay. Should I? I can call for a hand count. Oh. Yeah, that's what I did. That's what she had to do. Everybody. Call for the, oh God. Go ahead. Please call for the, um, Davina. You just said all those in favor and you put your hands up. Oh, all saying. in favor, put your hands up. In favor of the say the Of the postponement. Postponing the finance. Two weeks. Two weeks. All the, the next, all of those that are the next in favor. finance. Point of order. She right. ain't nobody to be mm. talking. This is awesome. Good. Keep your order. You all opposed to sending the to postponing this to finances. Raise your hand, please. Okay. All in favor. All right. Madam Six Chair. to three. Madam Chair. Um, Councilman Mays, Mr. Guerra have been asked to be recognized. Councilman Guerra. I have a substitute motion for a supposal. Well, if the additional information is provided relative to Matt Gibbs' background, then the council will provide approval this evening, subject to the schedule tomorrow, Tuesday, February 27th, meeting at 2018 at 7 p.m., which would be a special meeting if one other member agrees with me to go on that. If not, the mayor has the ability to call for a special meeting before 24 hours of the time. Point of order. Did, you make a, did he make a motion or is he just called? Substitute motion. Okay, so can we repeat the motion again? It's a kind of so a substitute motion for a supposal. It's something new I just learned about. If the additional information is provided relative to Matt Gibbs' background, then the council will provide approval this evening subject to the schedule tomorrow, Tuesday, February 27, 2018, special meeting at 7 p.m. There's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Is there a second? Is there a second? The motion dies for a lack of support. Wait a minute, please. Um, I would like to recognize you, Mr. Branch. You had something to say? Uh, my only concern was, was the request to have Mr. Gibbs here tomorrow. And that we don't know right now. And if, if, if he can't be here personally, will you accept a Skype interview? What is it? It died. It died. Thank you um, Councilman Mays, Councilwoman. Um, yeah, Madam Chair, we in special affairs. And it's 6 30. Now, we can do what we want to out on the floor with this. We can sit there at 10, 11 o'clock at night and get creative. But I'm moving it. I move this to council. And, and, that, and that, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm moving it to council. You said no discussion, just make your motion. That's so, what I okay, said. So there's a motion on the floor to move to council. All is there a sec? Sub, is there some support? Second. Second. Yeah. Mr. Davis, second. Second. Has been moved and supported. Is there discussion? Miss Fields. I just like to say I didn't get a chance in the scheme of things, but the reason I made that motion um, to postpone it is um, or to finance was because this is a professional service contract and that rightly comes under finance, not grants committee. Uh, and also, I would like to ask, is there any reason, Mr. Guerrero, why we couldn't have this with the Wednesday special meeting instead of creating an additional Tuesday special meeting? The, the reason was, if I may, you the reason was so they could have enough time to get that to our test so we can go to the state treasury and then get over there just in case. That's why I referred to Tuesday, which would have been 24 hours. We had enough notice, but it failed, so nothing okay. okay, well, we are in discussion on this motion, correct? I would like to say, the other thing I would like to say is, Mr. Griggs, yeah. if you had been observing this council 
it's not just this administration, it's not just this council, but time after time after time, we are pressured to meet deadlines and then they use that as a reason why we should make this decision. To me, it feels like if you go to buy a car and your salesman says, oh, you gotta make your decision tonight, right now, right now, you, you'll lose, you'll yeah, lose that yeah. value, you'll lose that. And that's not how I make decisions in my life and it's certainly not how I'm going to make decisions for the people in the city of Flint. We need a time for due diligence and uh, if this goes to the floor and here, I will vote it down. We need additional time to do our due diligence. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, um, Council, I move this to Council so we can get out of here right. in a timely manner. If we want to do special affairs like this, let's start having them at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Now, I done said that I sound like a broken record. I ain't got time for all of this. So if we want to move it to the floor, which I suggest, and then we want to get creative and talk with the administration and postpone and set a special meeting, fine. But based upon it being past 5.30, headed it to 7, I'm urging this council to move it to the floor. I sit out there with you to 1 in the morning. But we can't keep doing this special affairs after special affairs. Let's keep our schedule of meetings, get out on the flow, and then have committed meetings to do whatever we want to the cows come home. To 11, 12, 1 in the morning. But it's wrong for the people that I know. And so Ms. Galloway can laugh and smile, but that's the reason I made the motion. And I hope that it passed. I know all the characters and personalities on this council. And so I won't call for the question, but I need to because it's time to get out of here and go. So I, I, I'm gonna change my mind. I call for the question. Oh, there's a call for the question. Is there a second? Second. It's been seconded. Is there a second? Call for the question. Mr. Mays? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mr. Guerra? No. Ms. Fields? No. Ms. Winfrey Carter? Yes. Mr. Winfrey? Yes. Ms. Galloway? Yeah. Yes. Mr. Griggs? Mr. Griggs? Yes or no? Um, yeah. Okay, yes. Ms. Worthing? No. The vote is six yes, three no. I'll call the question. So the motion is to move this out to council. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? No. Any abstentions? With a hand um, shown. All in favor? Show your hands, please. All opposed? What do you? Oh, uh, yes. Absolutely, yes. Um, so, move to council. Councilman May. Is there any more add-ons, or is we ready to? Is enough. that it? You still have yeah. appointments. You still have appointments. So we uh, got appointments. You got all the add-ons, Steve? Not three. No, no, you have appointments. I, I made a mistake. There are appointments. Madam Chair. Thank you, sir. But they are two, there are two add-ons. Okay. Would, yep. We got. I would move the appointment. Two add-on appointments. Yes. Oh, to these. Yes. Okay. I would move the appointments one eight zero zero six five and one eight zero zero six six um, to council. These are zoning board of appeals appointments. One of them is a historic district. I'm a point out on the floor. Mm -hmm. it's I'm gonna just move it. Yeah, it's been moved. And is there a second, Mr. Okay. Garrett? Mr. Garrett seconded. Is there any discussion? Madam Chair, out on the floor, Mr. Um, Davis. I'm gonna be quiet and let y'all do these appointments. <coughs> I'm trying to get this done and get out to the floor. We way behind. Is there any more discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of moving these two appointments to the council, say aye. 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 All opposed? Moves. We have two add on resolutions. Do you, I mean, um, resolutions. Would you like to give them to us both at the same time? Appointments. Thank 
Okay, the one we just passed out. With this is add on number three. <laughs> Madam Chair. Yeah, I would move add on number three to council. I second. We need to second it. I have a question. Um, Mr. Branch, when was Lynette Phillips? interview for the deputy director of economic development position that she's being appointed to today mm -hmm. does that does that question make sense it's an appointment it doesn't require just an appointment doesn't require an oh it doesn't so when when was she did, did was there a process i guess was there a process that you guys just you know how did people this, this let a, you know that they were interested this in is a mayoral appointment yeah I don't so is it okay to ask this kind of question, I, I, Steve? I, I just know. explained this is a mayoral appointment, and I was asking your question. Your, your, your question. It's a mayoral appointment. If she can make an appointment to who she is talking to, and Bill Company is making that appointment. There is the first process. Okay. Is it? But is that appropriate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mayor Rebrum, sorry. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Question, lady. Revenue is attached. Thank you. Mayor Weaver, I'm sorry. I'm just asking. I, I know that you have your appointments, mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I just wondered if this was different considering that you have been working on this $3 million grant. So I can imagine that this wasn't like other appointments. The other appointments that we have are not paid. This is one that actually has, I thought the Hurley, I'm talking about the appointments that normally come before me. I haven't, maybe I'm wrong, you guys. I didn't know that we had a. Right. This is a chart, this is due to a new charter appointment. It's a process. Okay. That's what that is. Okay. So it's, it's different. Okay. So can, so it is fair to say that this is a different process. Correct. Thank you, Mayor, and for different. honoring the charter. It sounds like you honored the charter, and I appreciate that, and I appreciate you Make it letting people know that I'm not asking a question that is a, a, a foolish question. It is news that started January 1st. Thank you very much. I have no more questions. Um, um, Councilwoman Fields, and then Worthy, and then Mr. Um, um, Okay, first of all, it's my understanding from the meeting we had with the Charter Commission people that the first step on appointments is that a job the mayor has the administration has to submit uh, an ordinance with job qualifications. Point of information. Councilman May? Is Ms. Fields um, understanding that's for a specific appointment? Right. Hello? So are you refuting the one that she's speaking of, Councilman May? I'm just asking the that point of information. Well, the somebody. point of information, are you specific? It's a quick it's inquiry. Okay. It's is she familiar with that being specific? 
Well, this appears to be pretty specific. Deputy uh, Director. Part of information. Can Development. you help us out by telling us yeah, what you. page this appointment yeah. is on the charter? The new charter. Uh, Thank yeah. you. Well, let me. I can really just answer the question. That well, it would be helpful had. though if we can look it up on, on the page on because this we are page learning this new charter. Can so I give you the page number? Can I give you the page number? So the so the appointment is made pursuant to the New City Charter under 4-203D. Under that, it specifically does point us to 1-501B, which requires a description, which I do have here tonight, to amend the personnel rules to add section Article 6, which would be a new section of the personnel rules under 35. So I have that. I have suggested this. Okay. Well, that's okay. Let's, I want to respond to this. Wait, wait. Can, can, can you just say that last thing one more time because yeah. you're adding something. Uh, you're right, saying? because right now the way that the charter and the charter, the previous charter did not mm -hmm. require this, um, job descriptions went through personnel. So now we have to get reacclimated to what the new charter says yes. and the charter now requires specific principal offices including um it has a broad category under the definition of principal officers mm -hmm. to include right. directors mm -hmm. and so it, it you have to look at it but it, it does have it in there and so as a result of that to make sure that we comply and i have copies to pass Perfect. around Thank to you. everyone um we did develop Thank you. Proposed ordinance. Uh, yeah, pro yeah, proposed ordinance to do that. And the way that we did it was to start with a new, the very end, I was trying to figure out where to put this in. And so went to, this chapter 35 covers personnel. So it has every section and it has every section identified specifically. So the category, it didn't fit into the other category. So we made a new um, proposed article six, which is after article five to just uh, be for job description and qualifications. Point of information. Okay. Um, every every appointment don't require the uh, proposed ordinance. That's Would correct. that be a fair that statement? That is a fair statement. Only the principal office. Yeah. Uh, yes, and yeah, and it, it's really specific in there. Um, you're correct. Thank you, Ms. Good. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Madam Mayor, okay, tomorrow I want you to buy a dress. I want you to buy a red dress or a blue dress. Which one are you going to buy? Answer me right now. Green. <laughs> Green. Okay, this information is being presented with not enough time, once again, for council to review any of this. I think we would be really remiss in our duties. I mean, there is no way, and I'm a pretty fast reader, okay? There is no way all of council can read, comprehend this, drink through the ramifications. Here we have another one, an appointment of a position, creation of a position, and a new ordinance, boom, we're all supposed to do this immediately. This is ridiculous. We need, and it's ridiculous that the administration has an expectation that council can do this work in this amount of time. And I'm glad you want a green dress, but I'd be. You said red. You said red. Red. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and, and let me add to that some of it is ridiculous that RTAP has us in this situation. It really is. Well, you know, we have not met, they have not had a meeting, a real meeting, to discuss or address anything since December. So small things and large things have gone unattended and we've told them and for them to put quarterly meetings in place for us to run the city is absolutely absurd because it's almost like shutting the government down. I but that's the box they right, that's the box you. that they put us in. But what I would do we can't do anything about that. You are trying to force us to do something that is not in the best financial um, interest of the city. You're trying to force us into decisions just like the water decision when we don't have the information we request and so you're just going to have to sit there on your r tab butt and wait and i'll personally call mr steckelberg or whoever i have to call mr hedden 
to communicate that information because we are remiss in our duties if we don't get the information we need and have time to review this. And I hope your next add-on is it for the director of community and economic development because we're going to go through this again. Worthy. Actually, she just said exactly. I, I was going to say. In what kind of a world are, I mean, like even as a teacher, you just give them something and say, hey, um, get it together and read all of this in like five, less than five minutes and make a decision. It's just, I mean, it's just not acceptable and I understand the RTAB deal, but they're, they'll have to wait because I cannot comfortably pass this without reading it and knowing what I'm getting into and I've done that already. And I've made this promise that uh, I will absolutely be able to research something before I can make a decision. And that, I think that's how we all should operate. Uh, I, I don't understand anyone who can vote on this today. Uh, whether we trust the mayor or not, uh, we, our job is just to check, make sure that her appointments uh, are, are the real deal. And if they are, then great, we'll all pass it. But we can't do that. No, that's it. I have no words. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Councilman Mays was yeah. oh, I'm going to sound like a broken record. I hear what Ms. Worthen saying, Kate Field saying, but I'm a councilman and we in special affairs. And the motion I made is to move it out to the flow. And you can say whether you trust the mayor or not. I'm not the or not. I trust the mayor. Ain't nobody going to make it like I'm not a check and balance. I'm the biggest check and balance. Maybe sometime on this council, I'm going to check y'all and I'm going to look to see what the mayor brings. So don't act like folk ain't check and balance. I'm smart enough to know to move at the council. If y'all don't leave like some of y'all do, we can discuss this out on the floor till the cows come home. Can refer it to committee or whatever, but this ain't the place to grandstand. And I'm going to call it grandstand because all the motions going to be the same. Move it to... Is it a problem down there, Ms. Fields? I think it's a... Is it a problem, Ms. Worthy? No, there's not. It is a problem because, see, that's what I'm going to start doing. Do you know how big of an actor I can be when y'all talk? I know how to be almost like a mind. So it, it ain't going to just be motions when y'all talk. It's going to be sounds, too. Because two or three council people can play that game. That's why I'm glad you did interrupt, uh, Mr. Davis, Councilman Davis, because we done sat here been interrupted. We done been dealt with a certain way. And I know court demeanor is admissible. And then when we do it, they don't want us changing our voice, don't want us saying their name, don't want us mocking them, but we try almost been made a fool out of, I said almost, check the vote count. The people know what's happening. I'm going to call for the question unless I see a council person just inkling to discuss this before we get on the floor. You are... Yeah. He uh, you just dying to discuss it. Then I'm on well, here. Okay. Then what well, I, I want to say something. Okay, okay. Then that's fine. So I'll do that, Curtis. I'm not gonna call for the question, Mr. Griggs. But this is time to move it to the floor no. and sit out there for an hour and talk and grant and do whatever. We trying to get out of special affairs. I'm, I, I I I yield to Mr. Griggs. Thank you. Uh, if I ever talk over three minutes, I, like I told y'all before, dig a hole and throw me in it. That's just not how I Be work. Be careful what you ask for. Well, I know. Dig, <laughs> dig, dig me a hole. <laughs> uh, how can we get rid of our tax? Is there an official yes. answer to that? Yes. The governor. The governor. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Madam Chair. Republicans and Democrats. Yeah. We got to vote like hell come November. Yeah. Vote like hell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any more discussion? Hearing none. Uh, we have a motion on the floor. Hearing none. The I motion is? Moving this to council. Say aye. 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 
All opposed? Nay. Moves to council. Mr. <laughs> Madam Chair, while this is being while this is being passed out, may I say this caveat for those charter scholars when you see the mayor and them bring a proposed ordinance for appointment, they can do an interim appointment for up to 90 days, and if we don't do nothing, it can go through. So Correct. for all of the charter Correct. scholars, understand this, once they make a move, then they can do it. Madam Chair, do I have a flow? I would move this appointment to council. Um, what is this, add on number what? Four, add on number four, I would move the council. Yeah. Point of order. Been, oh, oh, yeah, because that's been there the most. It's, it's, there's a motion that's been moved. Um, is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there a discussion? Madam Chair. Okay. Now, this is the second official thing I've seen that has been an attempt by this administration to bring Mr. Gilcrest a contract for $120,000. <laughs> I don't believe that Mr. Gilcrest has any background in this whatsoever. Um, I'd like to look real quick. Is his actual resume on here? Ah, okay, there is a resume. I certainly need time to review this, but I do know that when we had people come in public speaking, about the previous contract that the mayor tried to bring for Mr. Gilcrest, we had an absolute outpouring, both phone calls and people speaking, that uh, they did not approve of this. He is known as the mayor's chief advisor. We're aware of that. He has been a volunteer up to this point. I don't believe he has any background in this. And uh, I certainly will not be voting to approve this contract. But I will also be making sure that I contact all the references on this. And I would also like to know on these appointments, uh, Ms. Wheeler, if you could tell me please, do we do a criminal background check on appointees? I don't believe so. Um, it's an appointment. It's an appointment pursuant to the new uh, charter that was adopted that's pursuant to 4-202, and it does not require that. It does not require a criminal background check. Well, I think this is something that council needs to create. By and, and, and honestly, I've never heard this asked for any other appointment for a criminal background check. Right, right. Why would you think we would hire criminals? Right. right. Now, he's I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't really really know. Let's have a conversation. He's right here. Why don't you ask him some questions? Did you have a criminal background, Mr. Gilchrist? No, you want to you you get up there and talk about mm -hmm. somebody being a criminal. How dare you? If they, How dare if they you don't have a criminal background, that they should be checked with check. That was well. You didn't ask it about the other two, right? But you want to ask it about him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do. Well, and, and, the, and the residents also spoke out at the last election too. So keep yeah. that in mind. Yeah, they sure did. Uh, I'm done. I won't be supporting this. Yeah, um, I'm doing this just like I did the other ones. They can um, talk about it to the cows come home. I'm urging to move it to council. You can get out there. You can talk, do, postpone, whatever. Check my background. I have. I have. You can do it without a motion. I consent. I consent. I consent. But I'm appalled that all of the white folks and other folks that can come through here, here we go. You went there. But when it comes to a brother, we got to check to see if right. there's a criminal. Just for my own information. 
And all these how things. was yeah, how was anybody else's race on the appointments identified? That's the my answer. I answer your you point of information. That's the that. council person that called me said I'm the most racist person okay. she ever met. Okay. So when you call me racist. The most racist. I ain't never hung nobody. I ain't never sick no dog on nobody. I ain't never sprayed nobody. I'm seeing a pattern toward black men. And I'm getting up tired of it. So when you allow for personal attacks such as with me, no council person objected and said, don't call Mays racist. That fourth ward council person is starting to establish a pattern. And that's why I speak, Miss Galloway, toward you obnoxious. Black men don't want to keep being painted into a corner. And this the first appointment. Now for medical marijuana, yeah, they doing background checks. But no appointment has this ever come up. And I'm gonna talk about it on the floor, but I don't want to be a hypocrite, Mr. Davis, and I'm going to do you like I did, Mr. Briggs. I'm going to yield and move on, but I'm waiting for this conversation because when everybody talked and talked and talked, and the mayor and I walked and walked and walked, and I'm looking at the vote count, 600, 1,400. So you got somebody talking about who all come in and said what? So did five council people. They gone. This is the real deal. This is where the rubber meet the road. And in the new charter, Mr. Murphy, you a charter member, volunteers, Mr. McClinton. Y'all got to compile a list. Them girls sitting down there at the desk, Mr. Gilchrist should already be on there. If you read the charter, Volunteers, employees, they call them public what service. information, Madam Chair? Can Mr. Mays lower his volume? He's actually hurting my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I would ask that if I'm hurting your ears, go away. Call the Go away. Because I am that type of person. I ain't trying to scare nobody. Because remember, some people say, you said it. I'm glad he can't have a gun. <laughs> but now I can't have a voice. See, my daddy was Pastor May. And sometimes the pastors in the Baptist church. Point of order, that's irrelevant what his father did for a living. I think it's irrelevant you asking for this man's criminal background. What I so want is you guys to check. Let her go. Let her do her thing. I can keep up with her. Councilman Mays. Well then rule out or then tell me to proceed and I'll chill out. Proceed, Councilman Well then check her. Because I think it is relevant and I don't know what that was. It wasn't a point of information. It wasn't a point of order. Point of information. It is relevant. Councilman Mays, respectfully, I haven't been recording anybody's time because you said it wasn't necessary for anybody to discuss it so we could discuss it on the floor. I would yield but to Mr. Continue. Davis. Thank you, Mr. Davis. I would like to Be say Be careful though when you're in a restaurant yeah, because you and her done had some uh, communication. I would like to say this. Both of y'all had. I would like to say this. Um, I think I'm being pretty Character good. assassination is everything. Mm -hmm. What I just heard was character assassination kept David. It don't matter what somebody else think about you is who you are. And you watch people, and people carry themselves in a respectable manner. Racism is real at this table. At this table. At this table. Now, this Point of order. Can you check up? This is what I want to say. If you don't, I will. It's going to get crazy. Because who is she? Can I check you? Yeah, check but her. check up. I did. Every okay. time. Okay. Enough is enough. Okay. Thank you. But like I said, racism now is blatant. That's blatant racism. Anytime you got a a person sitting among you that can hear an arm breach of what you're saying, and you go and call them a criminal because that's who we are. But the thing is, white supremacy ain't always gonna rule. Now that's that case. Now I'm saying this. I'm saying that to say this. Even with the economic development grant, we we sit here. We bickering again, and I'm not a yes man to nobody. Anybody know my reason? I speak my peace. And I mean what I said, and I say what I mean. I'm not a yes man, ma'am, but because somebody is right, I'm with them. 
And that don't change my mentality. But what I'm saying is, you ain't nothing but a Jackie Poplar sitting in this chair all over again. No, I, watch, I don't no, care no, what Maurice, you, I'm just Okay, saying. I'll reframe. I'll I'm take that back. What do you mean about a I'm going to say this. Check her. Check her. Let me, let yeah, me verify what, 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 what I said. Because I have not sit at the table, but I watch many meetings. I don't care what. I only deal with I'm saying no. I'm hearing it all over again. Assassination. We trying to move the city of Ford. And y'all sitting in these chairs tenderly. You, you act like little kids, you can't do city business because stuff is at spare the moment. Sometimes if a red, if a car run a red light spare the moment, you better stop. Mm -hmm. Some things we gotta learn to do. I'm not dumb as you might think. I run a lot of organizations, ma'am, and I know what I'm talking about. But we gotta get to a place that's called respect. That's zero respect you did. The mayor appoint whoever she wants to, she's the CEO of the city. But everything she do, I said it when Shelton Neely came here. Y'all, everything he said was God. But then when the uh, city attorney said something, it was just disrespect at its utmost. Right is right is wrong is wrong. You got to quit disrespecting this administration. I'm not a yes man for the administration. I'm a man for the city and the, the people that put me in this chair so it's other people sitting here. But the disrespect of that old horse theory or the old cops will keep grabbing their head up in here. And it needs to stop. That is absolutely wrong. We got to be able to get city business done, but the man need the respect of being who she is, the man. I'm done. Mr. Madam Chair, since I hear, let me say this quick thing. You know how she's she, done. She, she's done. she said something about his qualification. Well, I ain't even looked at the resume, but I'm gonna tell you this. I got a, a degree. You don't know if he got one. I do. Community liaison. I know he know the community. 400 million them come in. I done sat at the long table with him, the governor, the MDEQ. You don't know that. So don't say no person ain't got some because you don't know what they got and what they done did. He done helped pull in more money than you, Scott Kincaid, Walling, so forth and so on. Community liaison. That's why they got their butt kicked. Pastor Flynn, 10.9 million for lead service replacement lines. A volunteer. He ain't got to keep volunteering and doing all this and breaking records, particularly for a black lead service line replacement company that you didn't want. You wanted going yet. So you say, and I heard some run the tape back. What he is or ain't got. You don't know the half of it. And so, I'm telling you, you coming off wrong, ma'am. You done came off wrong on me. You done came off wrong on a bunch. And you lucky I ain't a chair. You did the right thing. Because I'd be Metcalf. Take her out of here. Just like what you done did with me. So I'm not going to put up with it. And believe me, it's gonna stop. I appreciate the way this meeting and chair at the end, and I'm ready to move out to the floor. And so if I call for the question, it's probably gonna pass, and then y'all can discuss it on the floor. You can go it up and down, but if Mr. Winfrey, I ain't calling, I'm gonna wait and see when we vote. I'm quiet for right now. Point of is there a motion on the floor? Yeah. 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 And this is a discussion period. Yeah. And then I have something I want to say to Mr. Mr. Gilchrist. As president of the council, I want to issue you an apology. If I think something about you of that nature, I should come to you. I just don't think that we should do things like that. That's, that to me, that's unprofessional. Whether it's racist or not, I, I can't tell what's in, inside of, of a person's heart. But I want to apologize to you as president of this council. I thought the question was inappropriate to say that. If I need to know that information, I need to come. And that's just how I do it. So I, I apologize to you as president of the council. And Madam Chair, mm -hmm. it might not be racist, but it show a on the Gillicrisis. <laughs> you heard that before? <laughs> Eric Macy's, yeah. Aoni Gillicrisis, Karen Weavis's. It's been some hangover issues. And so we don't get past the issues, but we have to deal with them in discussion. So I'm ready to vote issues. And let's move it to the floor and see if we can get out of here. I don't know what's going to happen, but I want all of them. Talk about them out there. Is there any further discussion? 
If there is none, hearing none, all in favor of moving this to council, say aye. 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 All opposed? Nay. <coughs> Move to council. Madam Chair. Council 12. Unless it's something. It is. Um, okay. Additional council um, discussion. Yes, I have a referral. My referral is to uh, Mr. Newsom um, and jointly the law department. At the last committee meeting, I had been asking some questions about the contracts for the lead service pipes replacement. Yes. And you said there had been some contract extensions that happened with verbal instructions. Now, I know you've not been doing government work a long time, but it is required that any change order to a contract that council has approved has to, the change order has to come to council for approval. There is no uh, situation where the verbal instructions can change the contract. That must come before council. And this did involve a financial uh, question because it had to do with liquidated damages. So I, my referral is I would like to know who gave these verbal instructions to the companies. What companies did they give these instructions to? One, all of them, I think there are four of them. At what date did they give them? And I would like in writing some approximation of whatever this contract change was. That's a referral. That's so moved. The referrals move. That's not correct what she's saying, and I don't want that to be the record. So, what, well, if know. you want to correct something because you weren't at the last meeting right. in which this was said, so if you want to correct something, please do. Well, what what is being intimated is that there was some type of change to the actual agreement, and what the city does and does regularly is interpret its own contract, and that's what was done. There wasn't any change. Financially, there was a change in as far as flexibility in giving the contractors opportunities to fulfill it, and that is not the same as adding on and changing something within it. So that's completely being taken out of contract. We interpret contracts all the time with regard to compliance and things like that. We don't have to come back here, and it's no disrespect to the body. It's just that when you have the four corners of an agreement, you can we evaluate that and we talk to the folks that we do business with and we work with them. So, so verbal so verbal um, extensions are a normal process for our municipality? I, it, what I'm saying is this is that it's not just verbal extensions, it's anything within it's it's anything within the agreement when we're talking about working with somebody. For example, if someone is purportedly to us out of compliance with the contract, well, we have 45 days in some cases to go to them and say, we demand that you uh, comply right now. Well, does that mean that if we don't go right now and do that, we haven't come back to council to ask you to do that, that we're somehow out of compliance? And so I just want to make sure that we're being clear because like I said, this is being, again, we are not against each other here. We are doing this, but to, to be able to do our jobs without um, having to come back for the things that are day-to-day -day operation, and that's the thing about it. And and, and I caution to say this, because I don't want it to be egregious, but I have to mention the thing about interference with administration. And these are the things that we're doing on a regular basis. There are certain things that definitely belong to this body to do, but when it comes to um, us doing something, when it does not call for us to come back here, for example, we're not increasing the amount of a contract. If we're doing that and it's beyond the terms, we know what to point to specifically, and we know that we have to come back to this council for certain things. But if, for example, if we're extending the date of a contract for the same amount to give somebody additional couple of days, weeks, or whichever, we don't need to come back to this body for that. I disagree. <laughs> Ms. Wheeler, you are changing the conditions and terms of the contract. No, we're not. And in order to do that, you must bring that before council. You're completely 100% She's doing, you're doing, you got the referral, Davina Ropana? Okay. So the referral is noted, and the Yep. Yeah, Madam Chair, I got a concern and through you to Davina this ordinance that a company a company that um, I want to get that out there to council. So what 
What should I do? Move this ordinance to council for first reading? Okay, so this would be add on number five. Ms. Wheel, I appreciate you pulling my coattail on this ordinance. So I would move add on number five out to council. It's attached to our uh, personnel. It's job description. Second. Oh. Yeah. I'm second. Is there um, any discussion? I think it's just garbage. Hearing none, all in favor of moving this to council say aye. 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 Those opposed? Madam Chair. Council Oh, the yeah. unit. Yeah, Madam Chair, I look forward to the discussion, Ms. Wheeler, in committee or wherever about the um, contracts. It could be a discussion item on governmental ops if you don't object. So I would ask that the discussion about the contracts would we just be discussed in a fair operational committee such as governmental ops. And so I would move that we adjourn special affairs. Support. If if when Davina gets ready, we're gonna start regardless of how many council people we have in the chair. What you talking about, Mr. President? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we may or may not have council. Presented by Spectacle Productions. and underwritten in part by the Flint Pipe Fitters Union, looking for pipe fitters apprentices throughout Flint. With more information available by calling 810-720-5243 or online at local370.com. Join us at WFOV for rebroadcasts and simulcasts of City Council and other government meetings. 92.1 LP FM Flint.